Hey there, Whisper to Me. Hi, the Brain Clan. Hi, Lonnie. Hi, Carla. Hi, Paula. How's everybody doing? Hi, Kathy. How's your husband, Kathy? Hey, Mary Kim. Hey, Kim A. Hi, Tanya. Excuse me, Tori. Hi, Pat L. How are you? Haven't seen you in a couple of days. Hey, Sakura. Hi, Just Jan. Hi, what big eyes? Hey, Bernard. How are you doing? I'm seeing you in a while. Good to see you. Hey, Dib on the move. Hey, L. Jackson. Hey, keep it kind. How are you? Davina Sands. Hi. That's a new name. How are you doing? Welcome. Hey, Mickey fan. Hi. Hi, Steph A. Hi, Sharon. Hey, Amanda. How are you? Sorry, whoever came. I don't know why YouTube. I try to record a private video and then make it. Hi, Two Scooter. And then make it public and I check it. It says private. I refresh it. It says private. I go live. It's public. And then people are in here and then everybody's like, oh, I didn't get in. And then Jimmy's down here telling me, your video is private. I'm like, yeah, I know. It's private. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Marie Kitty Cats. Hi, Kayla. Hi, Sari. How are you doing? Sorry, sent me some information on the mustard. Hi, Pouty. Hi, Mary Beth. So, um, I don't know if Deb is, we'll give Deb a few minutes, otherwise I'll look up if she if she's on. She can give another phrasey update. I don't know what else, I don't know if they finished their jury selection. I've been like a lunatic all day. Um, hey, Peggy. I, I'd appreciate, like, I have a very, very good friend that's in just a couple of hours going to be going through a medical procedure. So if uh, you'd like to uh, offer up some prayers and stuff for her, I know that would really be appreciated. Hey there, Alessia. How are you? Hi, Laura. Hi, Earthbound. Hi, Mystery Truth Seeker. Hi, Peggy. Oh, it was L. Jackson. I said, what happened? And see, I called and um, thanks for to me. He um, said that the principal talked to him and the principal said, like, I guess, when does this happen? And if it happens, come right to me and tell me. But Jimmy's still saying, OK, you could try to go right there and tell him. But if the kid hits you. <laughs> so I think Jimmy was out today. He had to go down into Allentown and stuff in Pennsylvania. And so he was out almost all day, so he didn't get to talk to the principal. And I left a message, but um, he didn't call me back yet because he was with meeting. So we're going to both call tomorrow and then tell him exactly that. Thanks, guys. Hi, Carol. Hi, Carol Lucy. Hi, Short Nice. Hi, Robin. Did I miss anybody else on this? Hi, C Glass. Hi, Sassy. Um, just he talked to Ethan, so just tell me or something, but Jimmy's going to talk to them tomorrow, too, so again. Hi, what big guys? I got you, please. Okay. Oh, she lost her mom. Definitely, what big guys? Thank you. We will. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Sonia. Oh, yeah, smash the likes, <laughs> Carol Lucy says before we <laughs> before it gets started. Hey, Jody. Just finished. Oh, did you? To scooter. You already did great. Tree baby, hi. A lot of peeps forget, yeah. So, how do we get a recipe for Friday night? Okay, 
um, keep it kind email me I can get you in this the slack group where the recipe is or if you can't get in slack and but just email me I'll, I'll set you up thanks Peggy hey Nikki hi Scarlet Rain hi Carol hi Ivy Lynn Thanks, Robin. Hi, Julie T. How are you? You're fighting a migraine? I'm sorry, Davina. Hope that you feel better. That's tough. I, migraines are not fun at all. Hi, Lisa. So, what was I going to do today? Um, hey, wake up. How are you? So let me see. I'll, I'll see what if Deb comes. Let me, let me just check my email just in case. Oops. Oh, I got an email from Lisa. Oh, let me see if Lisa's, let me see. Wednesday Night Works. Okay, Lisa, Wednesday Night Works. Lisa, are you there? This was 46 minutes ago. Lisa, if you're there, I'm gonna put the number here. I'm gonna put the number in the email. And if you get this, call me because I'm not sure exactly what Wednesday Night Works means. Wednesday night, you wanna talk to me Wednesday night or you're gonna to go to the house Wednesday night or, or what? let me know what's, or you're gonna talk about the house Wednesday night, you're gonna go during the day. I'm lost a little bit. So whatever it works, you know, I, I mean, I'll, let me know. I'm just gonna send you the number just in case you wanna call in if you get that. Cause sometimes, um, let me see here. Okay, so let's see if the jury. Well, let me go to De Deb. Probably has an update on her page, right? That's silly that I didn't even think of that. Okay, so it says, post shortly, let's see here, some of the questions being asked to prospective jurors according to the media outlet. Okay, so let's see, here's some of the questions that are being asked to the potential phrasey jurors. What do you know about the media coverage of the trial? Do you have a strong opinion? Can you be impartial? Have you or someone you know gone through the justice system? Do you think the, sus the suspect is guilty? What makes you think the suspect is guilty? Does critical thinking make someone a good or bad juror? Has there been anything in particular that you've read about in this case that has kind of stuck with you or bothered you? Would you like someone like you on the jury if you were accused of something? Do you see the forest through the trees or the tree in the forest? Do you think the media always gets it right? Do you believe everything you've seen in the media? Do you want to be on this case? What are your hesitations to being a juror on this case? Do you have a gut feeling one way or another? Can you set aside what you've heard and base your decision on what you've heard in this courtroom? Or what you'll hear in this courtroom, should be right. Um, There's anything else? Okay, let's see. Here's something from. Let me check if this has. Kelsey Barrett murder case. Court begins whittling down. 
1,750 summonses down to 12 jurors and four alternates. So I don't know if they got finished today. Let's see. At Papa Murphy's, the only thing scarier than ghosts, ghouls, and cops. Right, um, <laughs> I'm laughing because someone went into the group. I'll give you the, the um, if you want to join the group, because I know they, they want people in there that want justice for Kelsey. But I'm, I'm laughing because someone, someone, I guess, from last night joined and they said thanks for the ad i'm a rambler so that's how i found the group i have been following this case since the very beginning of kelsey's disappearance and then there were 14 comments right and uh so people are like hello thanks you know welcome i'm so glad you're here and then somebody says hi help a minnesota girl out what's a rambler <laughs> oh my goodness and then she said, this is a wonderful YouTube channel called Mommy Renly's Vlog. And the YouTuber is Carolyn. She does lives in the evenings and we, ta we talk true crime, current court cases, cooking and crafting. It's the best of all worlds. I think you'd love it. Sometimes I fall asleep before she comes on, but I catch it the next day. She's on late around or before midnight East Coast time. Here's a link. So that's why I said I'm a rambler. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so but I see there's a, a, a lot of new ramblers in there that joined. So yeah, check it out. Um, she'll put the updates, I guess, in there. And then I don't know if they finished the jury. I'm just trying to see if they finished it. If there's anything here, if anybody knows. But I think uh, they're still on schedule for opening arguments on Friday. So... Let me come back to the chat. Thanks, Carla. Hey, Vala, how are you? Hi, April. Okay. Well, yes, I have some, I have some stuff at Teespring but I'm work I should just put what I'm designing and then then put other stuff in but I am trying to get other stuff going in there. I do have some stuff in there but I'm just fooling around with stuff and I still got to put Margie's logo on I, oh, it's just so much stuff to do. It's just I, I'll get it done. It's just I just got to sit down and do it cuz I Try to get some of this product. Mugs, yeah, I, I, I'm, I have designs for mugs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get there. I'd like. To, well, I'm trying to see if we can do. Um, if I can do, I know I can. I have to just go on and design different states with the slice, the rambler slice of each state and put those on a mug. Um, so it's just a matter of just, you know, doing that, just slicing up each state. But if I had, um, we had a preponderance of which states <laughs> right away, you know, like New York, New York you know, um, and, and then countries, or I don't know how we, you know, we do that over there, but we'll, we'll figure it out. I have different ideas. But I think the states with the Rambler through it, like I want to make the label, like, did I show you guys the label that I made with the Rambler? I did make one. Did I show it to you? I don't know, but I'll, I'll show it to you. I'm going to make one for wildlife. I, I still forget, well, wildlife, I believe it's Kansas, right? I hope I have the right state. It's Kansas. Hey, Karen. Hi, Mama Drama. Hi, hi, Carol Atacor. How are you? No, you haven't seen it? Okay, I'm going to have to do, I'm going to try to do it. Um, we've got Halloween this week. It's like, oh, crazy. And then we've got cake on Friday. <laughs> cake on Friday. And I think we'll try, probably try to have like a little kind of cake and a party on Friday. I don't know. 
it's it's we're almost up to you know we're supposed to have the party at twenty thousand. We're almost up to twenty one. Not a bad thing, but um, who else did I miss? Hi Brenda. Hi Sam. Hi Alma. Hi Chris Chris Ree. Hi Jonathan. Jonathan, you're new here. Welcome. Hi, the Brian clan. Hi, Caroline. So what else did we have? Oh, let me get to the mustard thing that Sari sent. I'll, I'll, show, I'll tell you a little more about it. Um, I'll give you a link to where you can watch a video about it or, as well. Cake on the beach. It's a little cold for the beach. Um, hi, Diane. Auntie Monica? You're, are you a new rambler? Hi, Pencella. Hi, Joanne. Hey, Janelle. You stepped so high to everyone. I missed. Pray for us in California. Tonight we are experiencing very strong winds that will just fuel the fires and it's already so smoky. Oh, sorry to hear that, Alicia. Of course, prayers that those winds die down and the fires die down as well. They look great. You put on the vintage red truck for Christmas ornaments or just the Oh, you could put it on a vintage red truck for Christmas ornaments right next to you or just fill the bed of a truck with pineapples. That, that's, a, that's a fun idea, right? Christmas pineapples. Hi, April. I got you, no, April. I got you right before I get, I get confused. It's snowing? Oh, please don't tell me that. It was actually not too bad here. I mean, it was rainy and yucky, but it wasn't too cold. Jimmy and the boys are right. Ethan needs to give him a smack in the face. Sad but true. It's the old-fashioned way and the best to stop it. If his bully thinks he's scared, yeah, that's what he told him. Snow. Oh, Kathy. Oh, I don't want to hear about the snow. No, thank you. Hi, Carolyn A. Okay, so let me go to the mustard. That sorry sent me and I'll give you a link where you can go watch the video too um, but I'm just gonna at Ben and Jerry's don't tell us about ice cream or we'll all be hungry. Okay, um, where am I now? So here's the link if you want to read along or watch the video. Okay, and so St. Charles County vandalism with mustard and videos captured by neighbors. They're part of the investigation into the St. Charles County prosecutor, Tim Lomar. After reports of strange activity in the neighborhood, neighbors said they've been watching. They've heard Lomar may have been behind the incidents. One neighbor took a video and shared it with the news media, believing it to be Lomar. The video is dark. It was taken at 8.52 p.m. on Sunday, August 18th, and it shows a man walking briskly through an alley near the home of St. Charles County Judge Aaron Burleson. A neighbor was on high alert because of what happened. Burleson's home the day before on August 16th, her garage keypad and garage door were smeared with mustard, according to three neighbors. 
Missouri State Highway Patrol is reviewing two additional videos, and one of those videos reportedly shows a man carrying a bottle of mustard. State troopers were called by Missouri's attorney, by Missouri's attorney general to investigate concerns brought by Judge Burleson. She reported to authorities that she had a personal relationship with Lomar in the past, but that ended and led to things that have frightened her. Two of the incidents resulted in calls to the police. Investigators are trying to determine if it's Lomar in the videos, and if so, do they place him near the scene of the reported trespassing or property damage? Lomar said he's cooperating with the investigation and he believes it will be resolved quickly. Judge Burleson is not commenting publicly on the matter. Now, did he say that wasn't me with the mustard? Hey, that wasn't me. Well, he, he didn't, right? He's just cooperating. It's not me with the mustard. I just thought you might like some mustard on the keypads. It's too much. We'll be following the mustard chaos case. I can't talk case closely. Hey, random guy. In and out. In and out for you here. Hey, Jen. Hi, Mandy Hall. Hi, Kayla. Do the Ramblers... Do the Ramblers have a Watts Facebook group? No, we're not Watts supporters. You're giving out paper cups of hot cocoa for trick-or-treat with candy, really? It's going to be cold, right, for you guys? It might be rainy here. I'm like they should have a rain date on Halloween, I swear. Remember only one other Halloween where it like drizzled or something, and I think that was the one that was we did have a Halloween that was canceled because of Hurricane Sandy and it was rescheduled for like sometime in November. Leona, please check my messenger messages. Okay. Oh, you mean the Watts case? We have a um, true crime, just a, a, a page, but we don't have a separate group on here, no. We discuss the case here and stuff. Santa Ana, really, wind event? I get Carol Lucy. Carol Lucy's mind is in not a, not a clean place right now. Okay, let me see what my messenger says. Oh, those things floating up and down. Those were moths and things. Oh, I had a fly that night or something. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, we've had it. And you should see in the summer, there was a moth or some flying around. It's, yeah, it's, it's all good, Leonia. Yeah.
Oh, um, Tanya, I just got your message. Um, yeah, I'll give you an email to contact me at. It's easier to reach me because I'm really on Facebook. So I'm going to put my email address. I'd like to talk to you about that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, what is this? I haven't, I haven't checked. See, so many messages. Okay. Let me go over. doesn't allow you to join Kathy let me know your um, YouTube send me it to I'll, I'll just write it in here okay all right I'm gonna get off of here because I'm gonna be sucked in a that's why I hardly ever go on Facebook anymore. Okay. Because then if it starts with the birthdays, then I'm really gone. Hi, Danielle. How you go, girl? Hi, wildlife. Wildlife, I... Wildlife, are you in Kansas? Is your state Kansas? Is that right? I keep forgetting. My mind is like... Whew, gone. I usually don't forget things, but I'm going to write it down. You're in Kansas. I'm putting it down because I'm going to... Um, and I get the, uh, the decal and then I'm going to start um, designing some mugs and stuff. Let me see. Now my pen's not working. That was my other pen. Oh, Robert Durst. I'm going to talk about that. And you know what's funny? You know what's funny? I've just picked up that book at the dollar, at the dollar store, right? And then I wasn't even knowing that he was, yeah, that, that was crazy. Okay about that you know finally for that the death of his friend um out there right you know he was involved in that well allegedly um kansas for wildlife okay. all right um yeah we'll talk about him in just a second here i need a list on the wall i know right like like at the hospital uh when they have where everybody is Okay, so let's see who popped in here while I was doing all that stuff. Maribel, hello. Hazel, hi. Unfortunately today I had to amp up my painkillers. Oh, really? Sorry you're in so much pain. It's terrible to be in pain like that. Hey, RC Breeze. Hi, Lethal. Hi, Norma. Hey, Sunny Bunny, where have you been? Hey, Amy's Justice League. Hi, VST. Hey, Lacey. Hi, Vanessa. Haven't seen Sunny Bunny. I think she's got an active social life. Leads up. I watch you, but I keep missing your lives. Oh, who's that, Janelle? Who did? Your friend? Condolences. Yeah, that's sad. Okay, so let me get the, the new information on Durst, and then I've got the book, so now the book is like even that much more appealing to go back into that case. Now, if you like 
the Durst case, you should have watched um, All Good Things, right? The Jinx. And um, what was the other one? Then there was All Good Things, The Jinx. What was the name of the other movie on Durst? There was th wasn't there like three? anybody remember hey Kimberly oh you watch all the time and you didn't catch us live welcome 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 you haven't heard of no it's not it's it's a pretty old case and it's a very very prominent family from New York City so let me just here I'll give you a quick background and then we'll go into the new thing of it and then um, I mean we'll see but been a long time coming this okay it's another thing with starts in childhood he witnesses something absolutely horrific in his childhood his mother um, throwing herself off and killing herself off the family's roof try to give you a summary here But there's, there's a couple of movies like All Good Things that's based on it and um, The Jinx on HBO is, is a uh, documentary series. So Robert Durst, Robert Allen Durst, born April 12th, 1943. American real estate heir who was a suspect in the 1982 disappearance of his first wife and who was charged with the 2000 murder of a friend. In addition, he was acquitted for killing a neighbor in 2003. Durst gained national attention as the subject of the HBO documentary series, The Jinx, The Life and Deaths of Robert Durst, and that was made in 2015. Durst was the oldest child of Seymour Durst, whose family owned a prominent real estate company. Robert Durst stu studied economics at Lehigh University. After graduating in 1965, he attended UCLA, where he became friends with Susan Berman. Now, this is important because that's what, that's the new, new one, Phil. The daughter of a mobster. Durst later returned to New York City, and in 1973, he married Kathleen McCormick, a dental hygienist. In that year, he began to sporadically work at his family's business. According to various reports, by 1981, Durst's marriage was unraveling amid allegations that he was violent and controlling and that he was killing these family dogs, too. It's, yeah, it's really bad. Um, on January 31st, 1982, several months before she would have graduated from medical school, Kathleen disappeared. She was supposedly going to the train. They had um, a home, a se like a second home in, uh, I think it was... Uh, Hastings on the Hudson and he was supposedly took her back to the train but she never arrived back in New York City no one ever found her um, but you know it's looking like he was the, the foul play that she met with so he had um, they had let's see here Kathleen disappeared according to Robert who did not report her missing until February 5th he said he had taken his wife to the train station in, in Katona, New York, so she could return to the city after spending the weekend at the couple's lakeside home in South Salem. Oh, South Salem. I don't know why I thought it was Hastings. Um, Durst claimed no involvement in her disappearance and, through his account of events, raised questions. Several people reported seeing or talking to Kathleen after she supposedly returned to Manhattan. During the media attention, Berman served as Durst's unofficial spokesperson. Without leads or a body, the case went cold. Durst continued to be involved in the family business until 1994 when he was passed over as successor to his father. For the rest of the decade, Durst lived in various states and in 2000, he remarried. In November of that year, amid reports that his first wife's case was being reopened, Durst moved to Galveston, Texas, where he disguised himself listen to this one, as a mute woman and rented an inexpensive apartment. A month later, Berman, 
who was to be interviewed by investigators in Kathleen's disappearance, was found shot to death. The day her body was discovered, police received a letter stating that a cadaver would be found at her address, which was misspelled as Beverly Hills, and it was spelled B-E-V-E-R-L-E-Y Hills. Durst continued to live in Galveston, and on September 8, 2001, he came home to allegedly find his 71-year-old neighbor, Morris Black, in his apartment watching television. Although the two were friends, Durst claimed that Black pointed a gun at him. He then said that in fear of his life, he began struggling with his neighbor, and Black was fatally shot. Worried that he would be accused of murder, Durst dismembered the body wrapped the pieces in garbage bags and tossed them in the Galveston Bay. He was later arrested, but while out on bail, he fled to Pennsylvania. After a six-week manhunt, he was apprehended following the arrest for shoplifting at a supermarket. It was a Wegmans. He was, he was, he was, he was arrested for shoplifting at Wegmans. In 2003, Durst went on trial for murder, but was acquitted after claiming self-defense. However, he later pled guilty to several minor charges, including jumping bond, and he served nearly six months in prison in 2005. Soon after being released, he violated parole and spent another 26 days in jail. In 2006, Durst was reportedly paid $65 million to settle a lawsuit he had filed for his share of his family's wealth. Several years later, he agreed to be interviewed by Andrew Jarecki and Mark Smirling. Now, these are the ones that were making that jinx, okay? Documentarians who were making a series about Durst. He met with the filmmakers in 2010 and 2012 during the later meeting in a private moment off camera when he apparently did not know the microphone was still on. Durst said, what the hell did I do? Killed them all, of course. However, the filmmakers said, that they did not become aware of that footage until some two years later. They also uncovered other evidence, including a letter from Durst to Berman in which Beverly was misspelled in the same way as the letter that was sent to the police in 2000. The Jinx, The Life and Deaths of Robert Durst, premiered on HBO February of 2015, and the night before the last episode aired on March 15th, Durst was arrested for Berman's murder. He was apprehended in a New Orleans hotel where he was registered under an assumed name. At the time, he was in possession of a gun, which was illegal given that he was a felon. In 2016, Durst pled guilty to weapons charges and was sentenced to 85 months in a prison in California. In November 2016, Durst appeared in an arraignment hearing in Los Angeles where he pled not guilty to murdering Berman. Two years later, a judge ordered Durst to stand trial after determining there was sufficient evidence against him. Now, the newest, hang on. Trial is set. Okay, let's see here. Um, where's our... Oh, I know what I have here. Okay, so he's going to be, let's see here. November 4th, I know, is the... He's going to be arraigned on November 4th. Okay, so in August, here's another, in August of 2019, a wrongful death lawsuit filed by his first wife's sister, Carol Bamonte, against Robert Durst, accusing him of murdering his wife, was dismissed. A New York court ruled that she waited too long to file this suit, uh, for her alleged for her sister's alleged killer the death date for Catherine Kathleen Durst has been changed to most likely at the time she disappeared in 1982 due to the murder 
due to murder instead of the previous determination of 1987 for a missing person. Okay, and on September 3rd, 2019, an L.A. County Judge Mark Wyndham rejected an attempt by the defense attorneys to, for Durst to strip the jinx, the life and deaths of Robert Durst, producers of protection under California's Journalist Shield Law by having them declared government agents. A number of other procedural rulings also went against Durst. L.A. County Prosecuting Attorney John Lewin said another hearing on discovery matters for October 28th, and that's what just happened. The trial is scheduled to begin January 13th, 2020. And let's see, I've got to get, where's my, um, I know he's going back November 4th for, let's see. Okay, so we have, let's see, there was a media advisory new motion, response motion filed in. Okay. His pretrial hearing, let's see, that was his, that was his pretrial hearing and Okay, here we go. So, where are we? A reply motion was filed yesterday by prosecutors in the case against New York real estate heir Robert Durst, who is charged with murder. But, he, but I know that he's he's back November 4th and I, this I think we're still on for January 2020 let's see trial is set to begin January 13th 2020 Durs faces one count of murder for the killing of his friend Susan Berman long time coming okay so that's where we are. So I'm going to dive into that book to try to get some more details, refresh myself and that. But right now we've got Frazee coming up here on Friday. So let me get back to the... Hey, snow worm over. The three stray cats. Oh, thank you, Storm Mover, for Ethan. Thank you. Thank you. I guess being a... Robert Durst should have been locked up years ago. Yeah, this is crazy, all of this stuff, right? I mean, my gosh. Hey, sunshine. There's people like him running all over Galveston. Nervous laugh, not funny. Okay. 
I wouldn't want to be in that bay. That bay is supposed to be really gross, right? It's so gross in the movie. Yeah. The pieces. Hi, Hennessy. I spent an hour earlier getting socks out from behind the kitchen drawer. A big moon, a uh, big, uh, I can't talk tonight, a big Maine Coon cat. I can't believe he disguised himself as a mute woman. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what that, because there were three different, three different, the, the movie was the one with the rambling, Deathlings? <laughs> You're definitely a deathling? That just reminded me of Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck. Newman Outdoors. Who is he? Robert Durst. I just told you about him. He chopped up his neighbor in Galveston, right? They, yeah, put all of his, like, different body parts in different, that's what I'm saying, in the Galveston Bay. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Oh, elderberry syrup? I like elderberry syrup. I'll tell you something, though, that it's, like, be careful with it. Even when I try to, like, take it over the sink, it's, like, on everything. It's just, I don't know. I mean, it tastes good and everything, but it's, like, really thick and very purpley, and it seems just to get on everything. You know what? You just reminded me. Like, I'd like to take a shot of that. I'm going to take a shot of that later. True kitty. So what else? Does anybody want to call in about anything? Any cases? Jeff, you want to call in about your thing now? That you're here anyway? Hey, Doris Cabin. 2017 movie. Searching. Oh, you're searching. Okay. No, I don't have, but it's just, it's just good. It's just good to boost your immune system. I'm probably going to get my flu shot on Friday. No, you're so tired. Oh, poor baby. Hmm. Yeah, it's supposed to be good for your immune system. Hi, Vanessa. Thank you. I was wondering how things turned out after the adoption guest. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ask Jeff. Jeff, any news on that? what uh, Mama Drama saying. The other guests, I mean, I spoke to the, uh, heard from the other guests, I don't know, I, I left that other up to Jeff since he, he is in contact with her. And he said he wasn't aware of, like, never her acting like that, so he was surprised. But I let, you know, what are you going to do? You don't know what's going to happen when you go live. You know, you never know. You must always get your flu shot, Teresa. Yeah. Nothing. Please tell me if you think I should reach out. I don't know. I mean, Jeff, I don't know how well I thought, like, did you know her very well? You said you'd never knew her to act like that. I would reach out and just say, like, I don't know. I, I kind of thought she would... I don't know, reached out to you, and if you said that behavior wasn't normal, then maybe she's, I don't know. Because the, the others got a hold of me, and, you know, we're... Yeah. 
His birthday is tomorrow? Oh, you had it a week ago? Good, Hennessy. When you are happy, so am I. When you are sad, so am I. Thank you, you go girl. Okay, let us let us know. Yeah, probably Sam, right? I guess. Remind you to buy elderberry syrup. You can buy it right in Walmart too. Buy the vitamins and stuff. Your arm has it too, really? Sometimes it gets sore. Like, I always say, like, I don't care. Like, they go, which arm do you... I, like, just give it to me here. I don't care. Like, it, it isn't your right arm your dominant hand? Like, come on. It's not that bad. Oh, really? Hmm. Wildlife, huh? You swear by elderberry, Alyssa? Today, your grandson is three years old. Happy birthday to your grandson. You had to go back and go about Barbara. Did you like it, Carol? Did you like the episode? Barbara. Hey, Sunflower Brown. You use it for anxiety? What, the elderberry? Earthbound, you use the elderberry for your anxiety? Really? Now a tetanus shot hurts bad. Yeah, definitely, Amanda. I I get freaked out if I don't get my flu shot. I really do because I'm I'm, I'm not and I'm not telling you if you don't get it, it's fine. If you you do what's right for you and let everybody do what's right for them, and everybody can be happy. She came up in a news feed. She was much different, professional. Yeah, well, well, well Jeff said he never, never, ever experienced her actions like that. So I don't know. Maybe she was just having a really off day. I get the flu shot at the doctor. You have a winery down the road and they sell the elderberry concentrate. Well, great. Great. Nothing. What happened, Sonia? We're just discussing cases. I'm asking if somebody wants to call in. There was a guy girl in here that had me laughing. I can't remember her name. I don't know. A lot of people laugh in here. I don't know. Your doctor's office is always out of flu shots? Really? Crazy. You got it uh, last week in Walmart? Oh, sporting? You're new here? We're good. How are you? How'd you hear about us? How'd you hear about us? Are you a true crime fanatic or? Welcome. You don't go to the wedding in Arizona because, oh, oh, I gotcha. Oh, they got food poisoning at the wedding? That's terrible. Everybody? That is terrible. $10 gift cards if you get a flu shot? That's pretty good. Um, I think it's like I had a tetanus shot. Is it every... I don't know. I, I think you get it with the first time. You get it again when you're 12. You get it when you're little. You get it when you're 12. And then I think it's like every 12 years or something. I just, I, I'm up to date with mine. Gunner, yeah, well, no, I didn't confront the bully. I called the principal and, my, and the principal talked to my son and there was no big problem today. And then we're gonna, my husband's gonna call him tomorrow because he was out of town today. Thanks.
Okay, there you go. Ten years. I got. Yeah, I know. I they just look at my when I go for my physical, and they. Oh, your tetanus is good. If you got a bad wound, they give you a tetanus. Well, if you're not up to date, if you're up to date, you're okay. But if you don't know when it was, if you stepped on a nail or something, yeah, you're going to get a tetanus. Oh, wait a second. My son is calling me again. Hang on, hang on one second. Sorry, it was last night. He he was calling me around the same time, and I didn't answer. I didn't know the phone was ringing because I didn't have my watch on and my phone wasn't there. And I thought, it, remember, I said text messages. I thought they were text messages, but they were two phone calls. So I called him back when I got off, and then he's like, "Mom, what's up?" I'm like in bed, and I'm like, "Well, I thought it was like important because you called twice." And he's like, "What are you doing?" And then I said, "You know, I just got off live," and he's like, "You were live?" I said, "Yeah." He's like what do you have like two people there at this time I said, he said no there was like over 1300 people and he goes but they must all be in other countries I said no there's people from New York and New Jersey and from the East he, he couldn't believe it this is my youngest oldest son um so yeah it was very funny and so very 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 funny oh my goodness What's going? What did I miss over here? Has anyone watched Water for Chocolate? No, I've never done that. Can you please tell us what your room is all about? Sporting, you know who usually says stuff like that? I hate to say it, trolls. I just told you what we're about. We're a family lifestyle channel with an emphasis in true crime, crafts, and humor. wake up I you all right they're the last to know. <laughs> yeah no he, he was just surprised he's like <laughs> he's funny and then he just said I know because I said what's up on oh, I know you're live I he must have like taken a check and been like oh boy okay um <laughs> But he said he already had it. It was fine. Whatever he needed to ask, he already got it. From... Oh, no, he's not asking for spending money. He's got his business. He's good. But he just he wanted to ask about something that they're going to tomorrow. Okay, sporting. Okay, it just it, it's just a very common thing that those types of people do. They come in and they go, "What is this channel about? What is this about?" It's just a very very common diversion. Did you ever find your deer, Mickey fan? I was sent one. I was sent one by um, uh, two scooter. Very nice. I was sent one by two scooter along with the music boxes and some plaques and things. And then I was also sent um, by with Julie T and other things that I wanted from there and more music boxes. And I was also sent by Nanette. Uh, some other things. Yeah, I've been very spoiled. Um, and of course, you know, you, you can look at the happy mails. Look at the happy mails and you'll see everything that I was sent.
can you read the ingredients for the apple cake? I can do that. Yeah. Let's see. Um, okay, so. Some people are doing the keto version and Okay, so here's here's what it says, all right? Two these are the ingredients. Two large apples were enough to peel and cut 35 she wants us to count the slices. 35 to 45 thin slices. I use sweet apples like Gala or Fuji or Honeycrisp. You know, jazzy apples are really good. I just had a ja ja I can't get enough of the jazzy apples. They are jazz hands good. Um, if you prefer a tart sweet mix, you can mix with more tart apple varieties in with sweet ones, whatever your preference. These can be cut ahead of time, even days ahead. Because if they brown a bit, it doesn't matter. They'll brown in the baking process. Everybody's got to prep on camera. Ground cinnamon. One tablespoon to be mixed with a quarter cup of white sugar, kept separate in a small Ziploc bag. You can experiment with ground Saigon, ground Saigon cinnamon, which is a bolder taste, but I stick to regular old McCormick ground cinnamon for fear the kids won't like the bolder taste. Flour, two cups. Sifted or not, I've done both. I use unbleached all-purpose King James. Do you mean King Arthur? I think you mean King Arthur. <laughs> Unless there is a King James, I'd only know King Arthur. Because I think it's the best flour, but you can experiment with gluten-free options. I'd love someone to alter this recipe to make it gluten-free as I have a niece with severe celiac disease. Let me know if you do. Baking powder, one teaspoon. Throw into your sifter with flour if you're sifting your dry ingredients. Salt, half a teaspoon. Only if using unsalted butter. I omit this because I use salted butter, me too. Nuts, optional. One quarter to a half a cup of chopped or halved or sliced or whatever kind you like. I often omit the nuts because my kids like it without and you never know who might have an allergy, but the cake is delicious with chopped walnuts, pecans, or slivered almonds. Eggs, too large. I use organic cage-free, so la-ti-da. Organic, certainly not necessary. Get them out ahead of time to get to room temperature. Butter, one stick or half a cup. I use salted, organic. You can use unsalted, but if you do add a half a teaspoon of salt to your flour and baking powder mixture, also take the butter out ahead of time so that it'll be very soft by assembling the ingredients by, by assembling the ingredients time. I don't have much success softening butter in the microwave. White sugar, quarter cup for cinnamon mixture and one cup for creaming together with eggs and vanilla. So a total of one and a quarter cup separated. This is regular granulated pure cane sugar. Obviously choose organic It's if that's important to you. I don't splurge on organic everything. Vanilla, one teaspoon. Surprised you didn't go into the vanilla a little more. I, I always put in my recipe, pure vanilla extract. No, don't use any imitation. Sour cream, one cup of full fat sour cream in its own small bowl or large glass measuring pitcher. I don't do organic with that either, she said. Baking soda, one teaspoon, kept measured out and separate from sour cream until right before we're going to add Add it. Do not add to the sour cream until the dry ingredients have been sifted into a bowl. I'm getting confused already with these. And until you already have creamed together your butter, sugar, eggs, and vanilla. Vanilla ice cream or extra butter softened for serving the, on the cake, optional. I eat it plain without either of these, but some people really want to indulge. Why not? Utensils. 
supplies needed. One small, one medium, and one large mixing bowl. Small Ziploc bag or a coffee cup. A flour sifter if you have one, but not necessary. A large mixing spoon or spatula. I, I'll tell you something, I never sift flour. I'm so bad about that. I never sift it. And you know when they tell you to put all your dry ingredients in one bowl and then I'm so bad and I'm a really good baker anyway. Everything comes out really good. <laughs> okay. Um, flour sifting. A large mixing spoon or spatula, a teaspoon, tablespoon, measuring spoons, a round tin, coffee cake, sea picks, parchment paper. I've got, I still didn't tell Jimmy to find my two pen. Pen or pencil for tracing the pan on the parchment paper. I'm thinking of the graphite. I can't do it. Scissors for cutting your parchment paper. Chopping knife if you're chopping your own nuts. If using nuts at all. Picture of apple, coffee cake. Hold on. I'll show you the pictures of it. What's that thing you put on it or something? Her husband said, like, that thing you put on it? Would you put on dish detergent or something? I don't know. I remember something about that being on there. Okay. So we've got that. And... Mama Aim says, that looks so good. I may have to try making that. I will check in on the live. Kristen says, yes, Mom, I am. Slice a few apples up ahead of time, no matter if they brown. No, we're supposed to be prepping on camera. Remember, Kristen? Because then we don't know if somebody cheated. Okay. All right, so is everybody good on that? Good. I hope you took down your notes. All right. Now... You're tempted to do this? Okay. Haitian vanilla is really good, but it's hard to get now. Hey, Mrs. Roger Rabbit. How are you? Hi, Pet Nanny. Hi, Ma with Chickadee. Hey, Nanette. Hi, Miss. Hey, Alyssa. Oh, before the mixer? Yeah. Lily, hello. Donna, hi. Hey, Tamara. So... What's going on? Anybody want to call in now? Hi, Julie. Hi, Carrie Lynn. Timmy? Hi, Timmy. Welcome for the first time. Hey, crazy cat lady. How are you? You're back, Lisa H. Where'd you go? She better not be sleeping. No, she's she's back. Hi, Debbie. See? Earthbound said she's going to call in. Okay, I didn't see. Let me see if I see something there. Hang on. I guess I have to get my number over here. Hi, Linda.
just as you said that. See, that happens a lot to me. It really does stuff like that. Stupid dentist did a root canal. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Sorry to hear that, Mrs. Roger Rabbit. I hope that I get that squared away for you. Yeah, I know, Carrie Lynn. It doesn't seem like a couple of weeks. It seems like maybe a week. Really? Has it been a couple of weeks? I thought the other link contained his acknowledgement. Oh, you have some more mustard news? Is this a different one? Sure, let me see. Sorry, I might have more mustard news. Hold on a minute. It does. I have more mustard news. Hold on. We've got to get right to the mustard news. So let's see. She said that, uh, let's see. St. Charles County Prosecutor Tim Lomar said Wednesday he acted irresponsibly in his conduct towards Judge Aaron Burleson issuing a statement in the media that read, I sincerely apologize to Judge Aaron Burleson for my conduct. I acknowledge that my actions were irresponsible and I'm taking necessary steps for self-improvement. I am truly sorry to have caused pain to Miss Burleson, her family, and others that have been affected. The statement followed an investigation from the Missouri Attorney General's Office regarding accusations of harassment from Burleson, who is a St. Charles County judge. Burleson responded with a statement following Lomar's apology. I appreciate that Mr. Lomar acknowledged his irresponsible actions. I believe we are all ready to move on from this unfortunate situation. Burleson and Lomar were in, long, were in a long-term relationship which ended in January. Police in St. Charles County have responded twice this year to Burleson's home for incidents. The first, which happened on January 17th. O'Fallon police recalled for suspicious circumstances, the 911 caller said they were on the phone with a person inside the home when there was loud knocking on the door. It frightened her, the report said. She fears that it could be someone that is angry with her. When police arrived, no one was outside the house. And then in August, the O'Fallon Police Department were called again, this time for a report of harassment at the Burleson home. According to O'Fallon Police records, there's an open investigation into a first-degree harassment, and the Missouri State Highway P Patrol says the suspect in the case is Lomar. On August 19th, O'Fallon Police Chief Tim Clothier requested the Missouri Attorney General's Office to investigate the allegations for transparency, fairness, and integrity of the investigation without any perceived bias towards either party involved. The Missouri Highway Patrol was subsequently asked to handle the investigation. A spokesperson for the Attorney General's Office said Wednesday morning that the investigation remains ongoing. The allegations do not include any type of sexual harassment. No charges have been filed. Burleson is the daughter of St. Louis Circuit presiding judge Rex Burleson, but it didn't mention the mustard. Sorry, I can't believe they missed the chance to mention the mustard. That's bad. And we've got okay. So Michaela has a newish, a newish case of a missing couple. Let's see what this is. Michelle and James Butler. Family of missing couple. What is this? Is there an article? Um, 
Let me try to find some Michelle and James Butler in case anyone's seen them. They're driving in an RV. Okay. Oh, they found them, Michaela. It looks like they found them. At a Texas beach. Sheriff's office, two bodies discovered buried at a Texas beach. Corpus Christi. So it says, investigators are trying to identify two bodies found buried at South Texas Beach amid the search for a missing New Hampshire couple. The, what is it, Kleberg County Sheriff's Office says a deputy located a woman's remains Sunday in a shallow grave on Padre Island near Corpus Christi. Chief Deputy Jamie Garza said a man's body was discovered Monday beneath the first body. Authorities suspect foul play. The remains have been transported to a medical examiner garza said it's too early to say whether the bodies are connected to the search for 48 year old james butler and his wife 46 year old michelle the sheriff's office on friday announced that butler's reported missing along with their truck and rv relatives last heard from them on, on excuse me on october 14th and believe the pair visited padre island sheriff's officials didn't immediately return messages. Did they find the RV or anything? Um, trying to see if there's any anything else here. Any idea? I mean, do you think they were somebody took the truck in the RV and that was the the motive there and just I don't know. Well, that's sad, but we'll follow that up. See what's going on there. Okay, and let's see what else is in the old mailbag. Oops, oh my gosh, I hate this Gmail that just doesn't look like that. Ouch. Toffee. Oh, we have to um, Toffee and Lulu. Are these for the Halloween pictures? What is this? Or is this just for, hold on. Toffee and Lulu. Who, who is this from again? Let me see. Um, oops, that's the wrong one. That is from Tamara Prangle. It just says Toffee and Lulu. Toffee and Lulu getting ready for Houston cold front. Houston cold front, how cold is it going to be? Very cute. Very cute. Okay. And Earthbound says you have not much to talk about. Okay, and Lisa, if you're listening, I sent you a number, Lisa um, De Fierro. Okay, let me see here. What's up, Maui Chickadee? They found two bodies where those people were missing, but they haven't been ID'd yet. Correct, Pencil. Correct. Let 
and getting iced tea. What's that? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. How's it going? It's going. It's going. I just, like I said, I don't have anything really to talk about, but I can follow the, I can follow everybody else's lead. Uh huh. Oh, I don't know what's going on. It left such. Um, did you hear if the anything on Frazy if the jury selection is still going on, or if they got everybody today, or how far they are? Did you hear anything about that? I actually haven't heard a word. Mm. Who's this? This is Earthbound Spirit in Colorado. How far are you from the courthouse? No, oh, I'm in Lakewood, so we're good. Two or three hours. Mm. Probably closer to two, two and a half, something like that. You, yeah, you you wouldn't go like any day, like even in the juicy part of the trial. I would go two and a half hours. I would go for Crystal's testimony. Oh, I would if I drove. Oh. Hi, Carol, Lucy, and hi, Wildlife. I, I'm just too far for not being a driver. Oh, I didn't know you were not driving. Okay. No public I transportation know. that'll take you close? Oh, I'm sure I could get public transportation, but it'd be a long one. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know like if, what part you are in. But they, they're, they're rural, right? But it's is, is Cripple Creek a resort town? It's not. It's a little old mining town. It's a pretty cool little town, but it's a little town. I wonder it's if a it, it's a mountain town. If you lived, I, I just want to see how many people would be like me. If, if you lived two and a half hours from the Teller County Court where the Frazee trial is, would you go in, try to go there and get a seat for when Crystal is testifying? Type yes or no. Sounds like George Strait. Type yes, check yes or no. Um, Even if you're not close, Cripple Creek is a good town. So fly on out to Colorado. Heck yeah, 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 Creek. heck yeah. <laughs> no, Laura, Laura, why do you say no? Just wondering. I wouldn't because I'd be afraid to get there and not get in. But she said there's other stuff to do. Oh, it's a beautiful, beautiful little town. town. There's a museum I and all that. kinds of, it, it's a it's a neat little mining town. Karen Very gives historic. it a maybe. She can't make up her mind yet. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, Deb is going, Carol Lucy. Deb, that was here last night. She's gonna be going. Uh, but I was just wondering how far, She's too far away. You're 45 minutes. Are you going, Sunflower? Deb is going. Deb was here last night. Did you hear? Deb, not when it's snowing. Deb was here. She's going to be going. If the case was likely to be filled up, I'd go the night before. Stay at a hotel. Deb is going to fill us in. Yes. They have an old mine called Catherine's Mine, really nice. KOA campground, lots of casinos, museums, little shops. Yeah, and the casinos kind of ruined it a little bit, but other than that, it's very historic. Gambling, Sunflower Brown says. Uh-oh, what's wrong with Mandy Hall? You're not feeling well, Mandy? Blood thinners? I hope you feel better. I like to see snow here in Houston. Yeah, Lily? Now you can have all, all my snow. I'll gladly sign it right on over to you. I'll send it to and the cold. Yeah, definitely. No no worries. Snowing I'm up there, dead. you can't get up the pass. Colorado native who hates the snow. <laughs> that, of course, says you can have theirs too, Lily. 
Lots of people are gifting you snow. Merlin, hello. Carrie Lynn, she said she had, Mandy said she had a heart attack. Mandy Lynn, man, no wait, man, no, not Mandy Lynn. Mandy, um, Mandy Hall. Mandy Hall had a heart attack? I believe that's who said it. No. She said she was watching from the hospital. Where is Mandy? Are you serious, Mandy? You had a heart attack? I sent it to California, too. Anybody can have it, just not me. What'd you say about California? Sending the snow. Oh, the snow. Might help with the fires. Wait a second. I'm trying to find that. You had chest pain over a week. They did tests and said, oh, you're okay though, just no sleep. Oh my goodness. Did you damage your heart? What did they say? They say you're okay, you're still in the hospital? Oh my gosh, how scary. Did they give you the enzyme test? You had chest pain for a week? Sorry to hear that, Mandy. Wow, I'm glad you're okay. See, all of us in Colorado are like, here, take our snow, take our snow. <laughs> oh, uh, New York's too. Yeah, anybody would say, you can take my snow all they want. I don't Where know. Mandy. A, wow. Sure. There's a lot of Colorado people who would never, would get mad at us for sending our snow away because of skiing and snowboarding. No. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It's one thing Colorado is known for. And I'm 45 years old, living in Colorado, and I have never been skiing. Really? And you grew up there and you never skied? Never downhill skied. I no. went cross country one time. I've been skiing. It's not all it's cross country. Be. I just said, like, this is all you do? Yeah. <laughs> okay. People keep here doing this all day? Keep, mm -hmm. People here wonder how a Colorado native has never been skiing. I've been skiing. <laughs> Snowboarding is way more fun. Okay, I haven't Tori. done that either, Hennessy. You're from beside the sea and you can't swim? Oh my goodness, Carol Lucy, you better get in there and start learning. Don't remember that call? You don't want to end up like that. You want to know how to swim. It's so you'll lovely to swim. It's so lovely to swim. I would teach you to swim if you were near me. I bet people wonder about that too, huh, Mrs. Roger Rabbit? About, I've lived in, you say you've never been to NASA? Yeah, well, I mean, that, that stuff is like, you know, if people live in New York, they don't, they don't go to the Statue of Liberty because, oh, I could always go there. Oh, I'll always go there later. Eh, who cares? Yeah, um, I drove by it. I, I saw it. I saw everything I need to see. Yep. I don't need to climb. I don't need to climb to the top. Thanks, but no. You've lived in Ohio and you've never been to the Ohio State Fair. <laughs> like New Yorkers and not. Yeah, exactly, Danielle. Right? Ah, we drive by. There it is, kids. Wave. Okay. You nearly drowned when you were ten, and you had to be resuscitated. Resuscitated. You're terrified of water, really? So you don't like baths, Carol Lucy? You know, I had a, um, I loved taking baths and I was having a real problem because <laughs> we put in, um, when we did our master bathroom a couple of years ago, we, we replaced our, I had a nice, it wasn't, that, and he was wrong with the jacuzzi, but I, we got another one because we had to replace other stuff and then the things didn't match. So, um, but I got a really nice uh, one. It had the LED lights now that changed colors and I just love baths and it, I always get them as deep as they can be without having to put chlorine in them, seriously. And um, as white, like just I, they're like little tiny little pools. But I get in them and even though I don't think I put the water that hot or I stay in that long, but it has a heater, so the water keeps getting heated. And I would be in it sometimes an hour, sometimes two hours. And you know what happens? The next day, or sometime even right then and there, 
I had a migraine headache that I could not get. No, it's not funny. It's in. It's bad. And I, but no, I couldn't. But sorry, I couldn't I'm laughing at what Steph said. Oh, but I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop, even though I knew the headache I was going to get, that I was going to be literally incapacitated, like the ones that make you feel like you're going to vomit, you can't get out of bed, you need a painkiller, that kind. Um, even though I knew that, and I'd say, like, you have to have a limit of, like, 20 minutes or an hour, I couldn't stop. I could not get out of the tub. Because I would say every time, well, maybe it wasn't that, that it was that. I know, I know, Danielle. I know. It was just so nice. I would bring my um, iPad in there. I was watching Netflix. I was watching True Crime on there. I was changing the colored lights. I shut off all the lights in the bathroom. It was so relaxing. But then, then the headache. I get really dizzy and I don't even have to stay in the bath very long. Oh, I, I don't, I don't get dizzy. It's just, and then I, then I'm a nut about cleaning the tub. You have, everybody would laugh at me on my morning calls. Cause they would say, I get in person. I get in the tub before I put the water in. Right. Even though there's, cause it fills up really fast with it. And then I of course take a shower before I get in the tub. Then I get in the tub. And I just even wash my feet again as I'm in the tub. Then I scrub the entire tub with this, even though I washed it before I got out with this sponge on a stick, okay? I scrub the entire thing. I rinse it all down. <laughs> then I fill up the tub. When I get out of the tub, then I, I let it all drain and I wash down the entire tub before I get out. And they laughed at me on the call. They're like, Caroline, it sounds a little like obsessive. <laughs> It is to a germaphobe. And I have the special jacuzzi that has like these um, ion things in the tubes and it it puts this thing out that kills all the germs. Yeah, it's really weird. So you're the same because you're nuts? Yeah. What's my water? We don't get a water bill. We have a well. When we were kids, bath is Saturday night, six kids washed in the sea. <laughs> you don't care about it as a kid, probably, you know, I don't know. Maybe I probably cared. It's a jetted tub, yeah. Yeah, Carolyn. What is that new show called Smothering? No, I didn't see that, what's that? Oh, there is a one episode, a mother and daughter. The mother gets in the bath, and then when, if the water's still hot enough, the daughter gets in the bath when mom gets done. How old are they? All adults, both adults. All adults? What's smothering? It's like the mother's smothering the kids? Like smothering them, like helicoptering them? Parenting? I don't really know why they, I've only seen the one episode. I don't really know why they call it smothering. It's, but it's about mothers and daughters that do weird, have like weird, like, I don't know, maybe codependence. It sounds like smothering, like that, like, yeah, like smothering. She's smothering, smothering, but sm do they say it like, do they put it, do they spell it like mothering, but just with an S in front? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they mean, yeah. Mm. Who's, what channel? I mean, what, what, how, where do you watch it? Uh, I think it's, I've only watched it once, but I think it was uh, TLC. Anybody ever seen smothering? It, it, yeah, she said it's like smothering like that, yeah. Anybody ever watch that? Tamara says she has. I've only, I couldn't get into it. So just that one video, what one episode was enough for me. <laughs> what else did they do besides the tub? Oh, I don't know. Oh. They, they just like only suddenly will watch the one episode, but from from the you know I watch TLC and A and E a lot, and I record all my you know the they record all my shows on my DVR, so 
so I end up watching, catching those things in like commercials. Mm-hmm. And I tried that one episode just to see how crazy it was, and that was pretty gross. Sounds and right. If it came right down to it, I'd be more like you. Take the yeah. shower first, scrub the tub down. No, I'm not sharing. Because I can't. Long like, I, like so many things go. Like, even if, like, I'm just like, even if I had just washed my my tile floors in my bathroom, I'm just like. You no, know, because then you got to walk up the steps to the tub and in the tub, and it's like, what could be on your feet? Gross, okay. And then you're not just going to rinse your feet; you're going to totally scrub down your feet with soap. <laughs> and then, of course, you have to wash the tub again. And I can never use like if you a tub in a hotel room. Oh, like you know, like sometimes you get the suite and they go, "Oh, there's a big tub in there," and all I'm thinking is like. First of all, I don't even have my my big sponges on my sticks and stuff and my stuff that I use, but that's not even my tub. I don't know that it has an ion thing in there, the pipes. I'm not using it no way, no how. No. Um, but some people don't care. Like my sister would not care. My sister would be like, oh, it looks clean, I'm gonna use it. My sister is not a germaphobe. My sister loves to freak me out. Like, she, I swear to you, she'll do this. She used to do stuff like this. Because my mom was not a germaphobe either. So like, you ever have a magazine somebody's looking at and then you go, mom, did you get that from the doctor's office? Yeah. And I go to my sister, you're reading, mom got that from the doctor's office. And she goes, oh, I don't care. <laughs> she does that, okay? She'll rub it all over her body um, just to make me nuts. Just like a sister. Me, I'm like, e. If Jim and Jimmy will do stuff like that too. Like I'm not joking around. He knows better now, but he used to in the past. Like I'd say, "Where's that magazine from?" Oh, I was reading it. I wasn't finished at the. Is that from Crystal? Give me that. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> oh. I, I, yeah, I like. I don't want her to even touch me. You know. That's the other thing. Like, if you're out and about with somebody that's not a germaphobe and they're doing, like, really germy things, and then if you're driving them around, you're thinking, like, wait, you're getting in my car and stuff? Okay, i got to sanitize all of that. What is that? Oh, she's touching that. That's going to be sanitizer. Okay. Um. wash your hands with Clorox oh my gosh Lisa oh religious pilgrimages <laughs> you would probably actually die at your house <laughs> I'm not, but you see people think that it's not that I'm not messy I can be very messy it's just certain things that I But my sister loves to do stuff like that. It's a clean mess. And I have those wands, you know, those UV wands that you can put over things that you can't clean easily. I've got a travel size and a full size. And I have um, this UV vacuum for the bed that you put it on your mattress and it, and it kills any dust mites and it back, uh, yeah, and then it treats it with um, UV, yeah. I wasn't a germaphobe until I took microbiology. Yeah, tomorrow, yeah, it's you either are or you aren't. And her daughter taunts her by, oh, my daughter loves to, oh, I've got to tell you this funny story. My daughter is so funny. She would say she's not a germaphobe. Like she would like to go, well, she used to have a car because now she doesn't have a car. But she'd go, hey, mom, I pumped gas. And I didn't wash my hands and I ate a sandwich. She would love to say stuff like that. Just love it. But today, but there's certain things that freak her out. Like not, you know, like Ebola on something like that, that she says to me, listen to this, she called me like in a near 
panic. And I said, what, what's going on? Okay, well, listen, I need you to listen, okay? Because I'm, I'm freaking out a little bit here. I said, why, what happened? All right, and then she starts to freak me out because I'm thinking I'm going to my freak out stuff, right? Like uh, I sat next to some guy, he was coughing up blood. I think he had a bowl, right? I'm thinking of something like that. And then she tells me something that doesn't trigger me at all in the least, but, and my triggers don't trigger her. So it's weird. So she says, I'm freaking out now. What are you freaking out about? Okay, well, listen, um, I've had my windows open in my apartment, you know, just like I've, I just closed them. Like now I've been keeping them open, okay? And um, I closed them. And now it's so weird. When I walk in my bedroom, I smell this moldy smell. I don't know where it's coming from. I've checked everything. I can't find anything that it's coming from. Do you think I have black mold? I said, what are you talking about? Oh my gosh, do you think I have black mold? So she said she was at the Home Depot. She bought a respirator. Um, she bought uh, this other stuff. She said that someone said it might be coming from her carpet. I said, you just got that, uh, you know, she just got the area right. She just bought it from Wafer. Hi, thank you, Angelina. And so she goes, but I said, does it smell mold? No, mom, but somebody said that it could be your carpet. Somebody said that maybe it got moisture. I said, did you pick up the back of it? Is it moldy? No. Okay, you see any mold on it at all? No. I said, is there anything under your sink in the, in the mask, you know, in the bathroom there? No. I said, your walls all look good? Yeah. I said, relax. I said, does anybody else smell it? No. I said, okay, so... Your roommate does, you know, can you, no, she didn't smell it. So she was freaking that it was black. She called me at least three times after she, I don't know, she said she put baking soda all over it and then vacuumed it or she got some special kind of mold. So I don't know what the heck she did. And um, she did all that. And then she was still worried and she called me and she said, I just coughed. You don't think that could be the black? I said, it's not gonna kill you anyway even if it was black mold. Yeah, but I don't wanna to have to what? I said, you're not gonna to have to move out. It's, you have to have something to have it. It's just not because you close the windows. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But that she's worried about, but like regular germs, like she's not worried at all. She'll leave her bike parked like somewhere, chained somewhere where someone could have peed on it. She doesn't care about that at all. That would freak me the heck out, not, not her. But she's worried about a little, little moldy smell that she's probably smelling that it's not even there. Not really, Carol, because I'd be more worried about my bike being peed on and eating a sandwich after pumping gas. She's got totally different triggers. <laughs> she has things like grease fires or she's afraid of like a gas leak, stuff like that. No, I'm serious, Lisa. Because once I told her I thought something was on my bike or something, she goes, this, Mom, you know where I park my bike? I'm sure homeless people have peed on it. <laughs> she goes, I find them sleeping next to it and stuff all the time. And there's all, all, all the time things. There's not even any... Patrick Frazee news on, uh, you know, that other channel, <clears throat> the a phone channel. Oh yeah. No, I mean, <laughs> there's just jury selection. Yeah. I'm even looking at the, uh, Facebook pages. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Yeah. I read that one off their Facebook page. Just about the jury questions. You lice haul your used books. Does she admit that she looks just like you? Does she admit it? Um, well, she acknowledges that people say that. I don't think she looks just like me, but people do think that. Rubbing alcohol is your friend. <laughs> it is, I have bottles of it over here. I smear that stuff on everything, rubbing alcohol. I don't use Lysol because it's toxic, but um, I have other sanitizers and things that I use. 
I you're in a sterile. Oil. I know that, Christine. That's what she probably thinks. Like you're in sterile, so okay. I like my tea tree oil. Yeah. When I go to the store, I make sure not to touch my. Oh, I always do that. It's, this is second nature. I will never like. Jimmy's so bad about that. Unfortunately, Kybele, I, I, I wouldn't probably be too upset with that. Halloween is like, especially because it's usually cold here. It gets dark so early. You have to travel somewhere to go. You know, like I'm okay when I'm there and we're going. It's fun, 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 fun. But if the weather is lousy or if it's so cold that your ears are falling off, because we've had Halloweens like that, even the kids are like, we gotta go. I remember it was so freaking cold. Kids were crying. <laughs> I'm considering just buying a couple bags of mixed candy and filling Brandy Funkins with it. She won't even have to go. Oh, does she still go? Yep. Every year. Really? Yep. People still give her candy, too. She, I mean, like something like she would really miss if she didn't go? Like she likes it on her own to go there? To do oh, it? no, I have to take her every year. No, no, no. I mean, like, she, like, if you didn't mention it, she would remember and want to go? Oh, yeah. Oh, she okay. tells me. She tells me a month ahead of time. Oh, okay. Crazy kid. Should have got a lawyer. Who should have got a lawyer? People obviously love taking the Mickey out of you for your phobia. Taking the mickey out of me. Oh, teasing. I don't mind if people tease me about my phobias. We don't do it in your area. Even when I really freak out after visiting the nursing home. See, my sister know my sister knows because like she knows we were visiting somebody in the hospital and um it was like um there was like a common room like it what and the people were in sick like but one guy kept walking closely towards me and so my sister knew like I mean he was walking so close to me like I was sitting down and my sister knew it and she's like, wow, that was close. He almost rubbed again. <laughs> he almost rubbed against you. He's a close walker. And I'm like, she's like, I know you like, like literally like freak the freak out. And she knows like when we go in there, like if there's any kind of a sign up and Jimmy knows too, like sign in sheet and they want, first of all, if I, if I go alone and I have to sign in, I always have my own pen. But if I not thinking ahead of time, for, with the pen, my sister will, I'll be like, oh, go sign us up, you know, so, guys, I'm, I'm not doing it, sign us up on that. I'm trying to check Twitter and see if there's anything on there, but it's not working either. Which one? Canada, what are you talking about? What was the saddest one? Personal space bubble? Oh, close. I, I don't know, like what people have to end up like they bump into you and they're all like all over you. I'm like, that's okay. <laughs> we keep alcohol in a spray bottle to clean with the store checker. Asked my husband a few days ago why I was buying so much alcohol. <laughs> It is weird. Sometimes I feel weird when I'm buying alcohol. Like, what's she buying that alcohol for? It's a lot of alcohol. The pen on the ATM. Oh, no. I'm good with that, too. I'll use that stuff, but it's like immediately after I'm done, I will just slather on the hand. I have it in, I have it in like big sizes like this in my purse. <laughs> and I just slather it right on. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Chris Watts, we're not talking about Chris Watts right now. There is a Chris Watts video. You can watch that it was posted before this if you're... 
Hey, Jay Bells, how are you doing? You hate the smell of vinegar. We are not Yankees. Why are you asking for sweets? And where are your parents? Hey, Melly Mel. Hey, Jess. Miracle Hearts. Sassy, it's okay. Hold on, I'm getting a... You carry hand wipes everywhere? Yeah, I have the sanitizer and I have wipes and I have, I have everything. Oh, I was just thinking of Michaels. That my, 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 and I got another email from Michaels. Oh, you've got a oh, oh, ta Tam. Oh, she, you want me to show you what she dressed as Halloween? Tamra, hold on a minute. Okay, let's see. Uh, Halloween party last Friday. They went as serial killers. Okay. Um, <laughs> very funny. Very cute. That's some knife. Can't even find anything on Twitter. We need her. We need Debbie to come on. Well, then they're probably not done with the jury selection. They'll probably just start, like she said, on Friday. Fleas in her bed. Oh, you want to hear the worst story? Someone in one of those like antique groups got a, or I don't even know if it was an antique group or just a decorating group. She got a piano or something on Craigslist and it had like these weird beetles in it like um oh my gosh I don't know what it was it infested her whole house they were like walnut beetles something I've never heard of in my life and it was like a beautiful piano on the outside and she was so happy and she was so she couldn't believe she found it oh my gosh I forget what that was it was horrendous it was horrendous Hi, Diana. Hey, Priscilla. Stop, your nerves are gone. Okay, sorry. Sorry. It was filled with some kind of, um, like a like a wood-eating, like something really bad. I, I, I've got to remember what the name of it was. I had never heard of it. Some kind of like a boring beetle. Or, I, I don't know what it was. It was bad. She was beside herself. She was beside herself. Because like normally you're not thinking, you're like thinking wood, okay, well I can, you know, it's no upholstery, I'm good. And she was so happy. Carpet beetles? No, I don't know. No, no, it was something way worse. You had to fumigate an armoire because you bought a couple, because I bought a couple cheap walking sticks? What happened? What do you mean cheap walking sticks? What happened? Wood boring beetles. I think that's what it was. Wood bo he found a scorpion under your bed once. We don't have scorpions here, thank goodness. We don't have them either, but there's plenty of things we do have in Colorado that I would never want to find in my room or my house for that matter. Time to 
tiny little things. They eat tunnels through the wood. We had to completely replace one of the legs. Eee. We were shocked to find out who lives there. They're really tiny. You see little piles of sawdust as your first hint. Really? Hi, Diana. For Halloween, someone should dress up as Durst. He's more <coughs> of creepy than Freddy. Only joking. Hey, choking on ashes, how are you? Oh, let's check. You know what we could check? I'm going to check the Amazon reviews. See if there's mm -hmm. anything new. For some comic relief, let me see here. Let's see. Why is it my, my mouse is not going to go, go, go. My mouse doesn't want to leave that part of the page. Is this a joke? Oh, finally. Huh. Okay. My mom's garage had carpenter ants. Oh, carpenter ants, I've heard of, yeah, but these were something really horrible. Letters. She's still two and a half stars. Let's see if we got new reviews. We might have a few new reviews. I think we had like 148 last time. Let's, let's check this. Um, ass. Oh, we do have new ones. Okay. October 29th. Michelle, don't bother. What a waste of money. I was hoping this book would actually provide some new kind of information. It literally just outlines everything we already know. The only new information was already released to the public while promoting this book. When promoting this book. To prove my point and end irritation, let me outline the chapters of this book. One, Crossing into the Unknown, basic introductory chapter. Two, Christopher's early years, not important to most readers. Three, life-changing realities just about Chris's crazy obsession with Nikki. Four, the Watts' side of the story, which honestly I think is horrible because it's basically invalidating Shanann's feelings on things. She's not alive anymore to defend herself, so personally I feel it's very inappropriate. Five, all the money about Shanann controlling the money. Who cares? If one is good with money and the other isn't, the smarter person should control the money. Six, the mistress. More about this chapter as well. All in the discovery. Nine, the weekend of the murders. Again, no new information. 10, the night before. Again, no new information. 11, home for the last time. No new information. This new information was information released while they tried to promote the book. 12. Later, the morning of the murders. No new information. 13. The days after. No new information. 14. Interviews. No new information. You can watch it all. Check it out on YouTube. 17. Polygraph test interrogation. Nothing new. Check it out on YouTube. 18. First confession. Again, nothing new. Instead of reading her description of it, watch it on YouTube. 19. Locating Shanann and the girls. Clearly, nothing new. 20. Recovering the bodies. You guessed it. Nothing new. 21. The autopsies. Nothing new. All in the discovery. 22. Evidence. Nothing new. 23. Reflections from Christopher. Somewhat interesting, but nothing new. 24, the arrest, plea, and sentencing, nothing new. 
25, the family, nothing new, literally nothing. 26, prison life, nothing new. 27, Christopher's true and final confession and his testimony. Only thing worth reading, worth reading. no new info, just interesting. 28, letters to his family, not something I care to read. And that's it. So please save yourself 18 to 19 dollars. It actually bothers me that this woman actually was published and all she did was outline everything we know. If she didn't include all the information already open to the public, YouTube plus Discovery, the book would be 30 pages long. However, this book is 266 pages long. It's crazy. Please save your money. Okay, and then we have FC, one star, complete waste of time and money. This book pretty much this book is pretty much the discovery rewritten and yet another false confession from Mr. Watts, riddled with poor grammar and spelling. The author will try to convince you that the misspellings and grammars that the, that the misspellings and grammar were in the letters themselves. That's a lie. The book only has about five pages that contain the letters. The other 210, I think they meant to say 50 because there's five P. The other 210 pages are her writing. Save your money and download the discovery documents and watch YouTube. Okay, now we've got a good review. G. Lentz, four stars. I would buy this book again. There was a good bit of new content in this book and I did gain some new insight into what into what was going through Chris Watts's mind as he planned these horrific murders and I oh look at this run on sentence this is probably a and I do feel that there are some pieces to the puzzle that were missing after all this seems to be the first person who has been able to get any information out of Christopher Watts himself oh my gosh clearly and, somebody who didn't yeah, pay any wow, attention wow now there's punctuation and why and how he did this i do feel the same as many other reviewers though that it was hard to get through this book with so many grammatical errors and typos it's a shame that <laughs> i'm surprised because um you're not too good on the punctuation it was a shame that there was not more time taken to proofread and make sure that this book was done in the most professional way possible that being said, I would buy the book again. I didn't buy this book because I am obsessed with this man. Boy, that sounds like you are because <laughs> nobody even asked you. Okay. And the horrific tragedy. I, like so many, cannot get Shanann and the children and her children out of my mind. It is so sen just so senseless. That sounds like it was put there for a reason. And because it has been so uh, widely publicized, probably saying, Oh, come on, just write a review. Now listen, and make sure that you put, you're not getting this because you like Chris. Put it because you really care about Shanann and the kids, and that'll get, that'll get a lot of people to buy the book. Mm -hmm. um, I, like so many other people, cannot get Shanann and the children out of my mind. It is just so senseless, and because it has been so widely publicized, I think people want to try to understand why this happened, even though we will probably never know why. Rest in peace, Shanann, Bella, Cece, and Nico. Okay, we have another one. Texas mom one star don't waste your money without question the worst book all in caps I have ever attempted to read the level of disrespect that this author shows in not bothering to get many of the facts correct let alone the fact that she misspells the victims names is disgusting to me in all honesty a fourth grader could have done a better job there is virtually no sentence structure Cadel apparently gives as little respect to her readers as she does to the victims and their families since she does not appear since it does not appear that the book was read though even once to get rid of the dozens of mistakes per page the book took this this book took this idiot that wrote it and i lose you okay hold on a minute this book took this idiot that wrote it and i lose use that Okay, um, just a note, to, if you're going to complain about proofreading and always make sure your post is good, take the time to proofread it because it doesn't make sense here. The book took this idiot that wrote it, and I use that term loosely is what it should say, and after, 
and then not and it should be a n afternoon at most when she copied and pasted information that the DA released months ago that can be found simply by Googling. She befriended this monster, AKA family annihilator, Chris Watts. He sent her a couple of letters which can be found in their entirety by simply Googling them. And her commentary in the middle is painful to read because of her poor writing skills or lack thereof. Rather than giving this idiot money, okay, they use, okay. I strongly suggest Googling information or joining any of the multiple Facebook groups that are dedicated to discussing this case where you can get PDFs for free. Okay. Now we have one star, zero out of five would not recommend. I am not normally one to recommend, uh, no, I am not one to normally write any sort of review on Amazon. This is actually my very first ever, but I had to write for this purchase. This is the most poorly written book I've ever read in my life to the point where some of the time I had no idea what the F the author was even trying to say. In fact, I got through page 20 and I just stopped reading the book altogether. In short, wiping your rear end with a $20 bill would be less of a waste of your money. Okay, two stars. Author of the book was rushing. Sadly, this book has nothing new that we that have been following this case already don't know. Author of the book is all over the place and has been repeating herself a lot. She rushed into publishing this book without researching it better. Spoiler alert, the letters are the only interesting part of the book, especially the part where he writes about the demon leaving his body as he feels the God's hands touching him. His letters to his wife and kids are short, simple, but talking about his family and himself took a lot of ink and paper. He did ask for forgiveness. Not sure if anyone can forgive him. Then we've got Yvonne Coyle, three stars. This is a hard to put down thriller about the Watts family murders in Colorado of 2018. Took two weeks to deliver. Poor grammar with many spelling mistakes. The story is fascinating. Fast read. I'm quite familiar with this case. I think the book might be a little confusing for people who are not familiar with the case. Quick read. And then we have R. Mimo, one star. Don't waste your money financing Chris's appeal. Poorly written, poorly made, and a poor attempt at more deflection from the Watts side once again. Merely a plot for future appeal or reduced sentence. I want my money back. This isn't a story of finding faith. There is no Christian in Chris Watts. Okay, and then we have um, LF. Don't buy it. If you have to read it, at least buy it used. This book made me mad. The author seems to have some kind of sympathy for Chris Watts. She suggests that he should be allowed to appeal his sentence. She and Chris Watts would like us to believe that an evil spirit controlled him and left, so now he's fine. He's a covert, he's a covert narcissist. He doesn't care about anybody except himself. He only cares about what people think of him. He's trying to blame something else for his selfish deeds. Now he wants to be a chaplain. He discarded his family like a child throws away toys because he wants new ones. He did this because he thought he could get away with it. And he wanted to start a new family with a new girlfriend. He shows no, no real remorse and he still only cares about himself. I'm surprised the author fell for his fake persona. She played right into his hands. This is a bad book. It's really poorly written too. If you really want to read it, please buy it used. Okay, and then we have one star Florence Quintana. Not worth the price. Too many grammatical errors. The intro page says the Watts Familia Murderer. The author really rushed to get this book out ASAP. She misspelled Rusak and spells it Rusak. Really? She could get she couldn't even get the spelling of the victim's family, correct? Thanks, but no thanks. Save your money. Everything you need to know is in the discovery files. Books will be returned. Okay, let's see. Someone is messaging me or what's going on here? Oh, okay. New subscribers, new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Okay. 
So, let's see, I think, let me see if there's any more. I think, yeah, no, let me see. Jamie Fiorello, did we read that one? One star, rush, too many errors to count. Rush the book, did you? My goodness, from spelling er mistakes to run on sentences to the wrong words being used, this book is written as if a 13-year-old wrote it and no editor is employed at the publishing house. She should be ashamed. <laughs> and then Stacy ha Hanem says, five stars, very good book. Despite oh. bad editing, this book is sad and desperate. Loved it. <laughs> that sounds insane. Oh my I'm an editor, and the book, the, the first book I got had come to me from another editor. Mm -hmm. And they, I can't believe it went through an editor before it got to me. Do you, th you think it went through an editor? Oh, I know it did. And that other editor has has her name on the. I can't credit. even imagine what the what the what the, what the draft must have looked like. Oh my gosh! Are you <laughs> <I> mean, kidding? <laughs> it, it was bad. And you know, by the time I got it from through, you know, from the other editor, they they put the word since where they should have put the word since. I don't know. That's crazy. I'm like, who the heck is this person who's editing this? Peggy says, I think Cato told the editor not to change CW's letters, and they couldn't tell what was his letters and what were her words, so nothing was edited. <laughs> Good point. Sass. Oh, he, yeah, he's trying to convince people that a demon made him do it. Yeah, I heard and, that. I heard that, Maui. And that the demon just lifted right on out of him. You were in the hospital. Gilead. Oh, glided right out. Oh, I thought you said Gilead. I've been thinking of the uh, Handmaid's Tale. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, Mama Drama by Sandy's book, yeah. Funding Chris's appeal. Lacey's mother wrote a book, too. I have Lacey's mother's book. Did anyone see the message? No choking on ashes. I don't know. No idea what... No, Kylo, she said she is writing a book. She almost has to write a book. I mean, everybody else is just putting out all the false information.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jess. Let me see if I what happened. I think I nail. Should I nail? There you go, Mommy. There's an idea for you, Carolyn. What? Mommy, write a book. At least it would be fact. Oh. And that was Lacey Alice. What do I think is going to happen with what, Alicia? Carol Lucy agrees you should write the book. So does Sam. And I think Carol Lucy is going to send you an email for a call in. You're calling in, Carol Lucy? So we. Hey, Bethany, how are you? Oh, Don't worry, oh, Carol, oh. it's easy. Oh, Carol, you'll be fine. I'll virtually hold your hand. Maybe they'll put it to rest that you're me and I'm. That everybody thinks we're the same person. We'll put it to bed tonight. Okay. Um, sassy. Okay, let's see. Why did my nail just get so big? I can't even see the reply button. I have to move Sassy in the other room. It's getting ridiculous. She's, yeah, she's just going like to town over here. We thought of writing a book about growing up with mentally ill parents, but I would want a better editor. <laughs> can send it my way. You're doing fine, Bethany? Good. Sassy, come on. Hey, Carol Lucy. Carol? I have to try to throw my voice. That's why she's not going to appear on camera because I'm throwing my voice. Carol Lucy? Carol, Lucy? She says she's having trouble here. Oh, she is? I don't have to throw my voice yet? Just tell me Hello? when I get it. Oh, there, there it is. Hi. Oh, my God. Can you hear me? Yes. 
Oh, hello, everybody. Hello. Here, say It is me. I am real. I know. I'm not, uh, this is not Carolyn being a ventriloquist. <laughs> I know. If we talk at the exact same time, they'll see I can't throw my voice. I know, I know, I know. How are ye all? <laughs> <laughs> we ye are fine. What is ye for? Is it? What does that mean, ye? It, it's the plural of you. Oh, so okay. More, more than one person. Okay. You say ye. But so if I say, how are ye are, all doing? How are ye all doing is right? Yeah, how are ye? Like if you if you met a group of people, yeah, um, you'd say, how are ye? How, how are ye doing today, you know? Oh, how are you doing today? Yeah. I'm a nervous wreck, lads. I've never, ever rang in anywhere before. My, well, except on, on Discord once. Oh, did um, you? Oh, did you? Yeah, I've yeah. never done Discord, yeah. Yeah, but I only discovered that about two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. But, uh, well, no, oh, you're doing fine. But um, no, the reason I rang in is that, like, my opinion on her book is that it was all a con from the beginning. Like, I do believe she had an obsession with him, with mm -hmm. Watts, you know. Right. But, oh yeah. Uh, but she really, but but underneath it all, I think it was all for money, and it was to pull the wool over their eyes and to use religion as an excuse, and to you know to kind of let on. Oh, we'll get an appeal for him. We'll make loads of money on the book, and we'll use it to help you know it was it's all rubbish mm -hmm. you know yeah but i think I, she I was, was obsessed yeah sorry i think she was obsessed too with him oh, definitely definitely yeah but but i think when once once the mother got involved and the sister right that was the end of that because they wanted to know what was going on in the book etc right. and sure she didn't want them to have anything to do with it no i actually wrote down a few of the messages that i saw on another channel okay. and this will just give you an example. Sure. Uh, like this is one of Cindy's messages to Sherlyn. Okay. And she said, um, uh, you said Chris has final approval. You said it's all about his, his uh, testimony and journey with Christ. You didn't say it was about the crime and what we don't know. You need to call Ronnie. We want to know what you're putting in this book. Chris has a right to know. He asked his father to call you. And then Sherlyn Cadle replies, Cindy, you told me you didn't want to know because Chris told you to read the book. You've been all upset before because you didn't know the answers. I asked you two times. This is this is how they wrote the text, all right? Mm -hmm. I asked you two times if you wanted to know, and you said no. You wanted to wait for the book. You were the ones that caused this. I have done nothing to you. Yet because of some bitch in North Dakota that decided to prejudge me and lie on me and treat me like dirt on her feet for absolutely no reason, you guys just treated me like I was your enemy. You have no idea what I've put in the book. Chris is a grown man. Why don't you guys stop trying to control everything? My attorney is sending Shannon Johnson a letter. Trust me, this letter is not a bluff. She better stop. Why do you want to connect yourself with someone like her? And because of it, that's the reason I won't send the book to you. Chris has had pretty much all day. That makes no sense now, but it was in the text. I couldn't Right, understand yeah, and it. they say that she's not in North Dakota or wherever they said she is in... Yeah, <clears throat> like I don't know who this person is, but, you know. I was like, thinking it was Anna sick, at first, you? and you know that. But um, I don't, does anybody know who it's really supposed to be? The Shannon Johnson. I haven't got a clue, but but she says anyway. I'm not going to keep dealing with this every day. I do not have any obligation to let you read my book, and I will not allow you to control me. Um, I defended you all greatly in this book, and now I'm sorry. So she regrets it, obviously. Right. Uh, he is the only one. This made no sense as well. This line. He's the only one who could give me things for the. Oh no, yeah. He's the only one who could give me things for the book. If you were going by a. Do you right? They're oh the worst God, friends the ever. The minute I hear that sentence, I am a good person. I am a good. <laughs> I, can't, I mean, yeah. an person. Oh, it's like a trigger for me now. That. An normal mm -hmm. person knows they've got flaws and you, you know. Right, and you don't have to say it, and you don't have to say how honest you are, and you always tell the exactly. truth. <laughs> absolute rubbish like i'm a good person i listen to this line and god did bring me to this up oh, she's like and i have written what i know god wants in this book i have absolutely nothing to be ashamed of and there are so many people nowadays using god as an excuse for everything it drives me absolutely hot you know but cindy watts responds anyway you need to call my husband that's what chris wants and then she wrote back I've changed Facebook and took everything down. That sounds like it's telling something about the crime. Can you please put a stop to this, Shannon? That's the one in North Dakota. Or I'm having my attorney take care of her tomorrow. She's the most wicked person I've ever seen. Why? 
if you guys want to reimburse me the 10 grand I spent on this book, I'll drop the whole thing. My nerves can't take it anymore. <laughs> she sounds like you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. A shame you can't allow this man to do something for himself by his own decisions. I am not within, I am 100% within my legal rights for this book. So she, she obviously was telling Chris, don't be listening to your mother. Don't be listening to your sister. God has sent me your way. It's just you and me. It's all the demons. You know, you're a mm-hmm. good boy. It's not you at all. And of course, he fell for all that, didn't he? Right. Yeah. But what was her true motives? Come on. They, they all they were all exposed at the end of it. <laughs> it's all about the money, girl. All about the money. You yeah. know. But it serves them right because they're all playing games. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. all these little camps, the Watts and, you know. The Watts, yeah. And they just don't understand what, like the mother especially and the sister, how they bashed a beautiful mother, a pregnant woman, slain, planned, premeditated. Mm-hmm. You see that picture of poor Shanann walking up to that door. Oh, God yeah. Love her with That's hard. I can't even hand. watch that. I, that's... I can't. I can't bear mm-hmm. it. I, I mean, we've all cried. Yeah. So hard over all this, and our hearts break for the Ruzak family, but they just don't get it. No, they, they still, it. you know, they still what believe the that <laughs> she's the ruination of their family. Carolyn, if that was my son that killed my grandchildren, mm-hmm. oh my, like I love my child and all that, but oh my God, I would have went nuts, I, right? I, I like, where are they, there's your and grandkids, you, but she had no I, attachment exactly. to them. Wouldn't you be ashamed of your life to show your face outside the door? Yeah, yeah. I'd just be like, I, 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 I would have went nuts. Where did like, I come from, like? like, you can't, she killed, you know, what? They're, they're gone, the kids are gone. Like, it wouldn't even, you know, like, I wouldn't be just, even if they told me on the way to the airport, I wouldn't even it's be able to come in the room like that. It's not normal. Even the father, when the father was in there, did you haul them? Bo- yeah, what would the you do, haul them bodies off? Yeah. I would have jumped off that chair if my son had said to me, oh, she, she did what? I would have gone insane. What right. do you mean she did what? And you did what? What did you? And where is she? Where are the kids? Where, right, right. You what happened? Where are they? What you talk? Then you'd be, you'd oh be in bit. God. You don't sit there all calm and go. Oh well, what you do then? Haul them up. Yeah. I mean, so callous and cold and oh my god, and to continue that and then to go on national television, mm-hmm. and to bash her. Right. Oh, she was controlling him and she was pissy about him. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you, you look at him there. And this is the same man that was standing on the doorstep, cocky, full of himself. Yeah. And that obsesses over his body and he's taken all his... This is the poor, weak little man that has no confidence in himself. And yet, he's the one that pursued Shanann in the first place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She had no interest in him. Like, her first instincts was, look at the state of him. Right. He's... A, he's, a, he's a, and, and, you know, he's the, this... Which he is. God forgive me. I, I, I would agree with her. He's not a man at all. Mm-hmm. And he, he... And what's happened to him all his life is... People keep bailing him out. Oh, it's not Chris. He's a good little boy. It's not him at all. It's somebody else. It's always right, somebody right. else. So he can't take responsibility. And obviously the parents are identical. It's oh, not, yeah. it's anything but their fault. Absolutely. We're a perfect Christian family. We're marvelous. We're right. so holy. We're so good people. Christian people don't go around treating people like that. Right. Absolutely. You yeah. know? Mm-hmm. And and I, 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 if, if I was a tenth like Shanann, I would be a proud woman. Mm-hmm. Like I get ashamed if I see her great mothering skills. All right, I do understand the uh, the, the the selling of the tribe is over the top. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was involved in something like that years ago, selling insurance, and it was a nightmare. I ended up with an ulcer. It's so stressful because right. it's all about sales, and it's very hard to make money. And I do understand that that probably didn't help matters, mm-hmm. but it's still you don't it can't even come into the equation for an excuse as to why he wiped her out and, and their beautiful kids. Right. There's no excuse. No. None. You can't go searching for excuses. It's all on him. Absolutely. But actually, if you do want to search for excuses, you only have to go back as far as the family. Right. Because I, I had a son in his teen years who was a little devil and got into a, a few bit of scrapes, you know. Mm-hmm. And I used to be so embarrassed. Like, I have a few kids. <laughs> right. But um, I was mortified. Yeah, right. Which is a normal thing. And I'm questioning sure, where yeah. have I gone wrong? What have I done? How can I do something to... And even, like, my eldest boy is 38. And he's great, thank God. But if any of them got into any sort of trouble, I would straight, I would straight away feel that. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. I would. And and as for, for, for their girlfriends, 
I, I I have five sons and I've met a lot of their girlfriends and there's one or two over the years that I that, that they've split up with that I wouldn't have taken to but mm-hmm. I never tell them that right yeah that's the worst thing you can you do right stick yeah. your nose in it's none of your business <laughs> right they're married absolutely but until that woman realizes and it's not all this uh, Shannon camp and all this business it's about human beings treating each other properly and have an empathy there's so the like, empathy has gone out the window for all the yeah. all these what people they've to have i, I can't understand it I, I couldn't deal with people like that in my real life no i, I mean really to not go to, to not go to cc's birthday body. party you know like when uh, they, they hadn't seen her and she's like there or like what an hour away and they don't go to her birthday party because they're it's mad it's 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 disgusting it's childish it's ridiculous childish. It's, you know. And then to give out about what how Shanann reacted over a nut allergy. I was mm-hmm. in a hospital the other day. I was stuck in there for eight hours, right? Accused. There's, oh, my God. The hospitals in Ireland are a disaster. Are they? they really are. The, from the cutbacks and everything. And there's people waiting. Like, it took me eight hours. I was in absolute agony. I cried for about two hours. Oh. They would not give me any pain relief until I saw a doctor. Mm-hmm. Now, you got to see a triage nurse, which right. is nothing. They just take your detail. But yeah. to get actual medicine. They wouldn't give me anything until I saw a doctor. Eight hours it took. But there was lots of other people in there as well, worse off than me. Mm-hmm. And so you have that consolation. Stop moaning to yourself. <laughs> There's yeah. somebody over there worse than you. Absolutely. But, but there's yeah. a lot of people that lack that empathy for other people. And that's what, why the, I think the world is just is coming down into two camps. The people that care and the people that don't. Right, right. I really do. It's, 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 I, it, I, I'm distraught over it because I'm not well myself. Mm-hmm. And I'm a widow and I've got children and grandchildren and I want them to be good people. I want to leave a nice legacy. I want to teach my children sure. the best I can in life. Absolutely. And to love and respect everybody. Right. You know? Absolutely. And then that's why I get angry and react. Like the way you were, tra- uh, well, I'm not going to get into what's happened to you, Carla. Right. But I've been trashed on YouTube. I've been accused of being you. Oh, I know. I'm you get it, you get it all. Poor Irish. Carol Lucy gets accused of and, being and you me. And... me. You email me to put these posts up. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I know. Crap. I don't even get your lives every night. I know. I know. You know? It's terrible, yeah. No, I'm just looking at the time. Maybe they'll it's, stop. Maybe they'll see you're not it's me It's 20 now. past 7 in the morning. And the reason I've got your lives is because I'm back on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I'm up all night again, right? You're back on steroids. Do they make you I'm not back sleep? On steroids, steroids? And it keeps me awake all night, you know. But oh, yeah. I'm delighted. But normally I I catch your lives the day after. But if I'm if I'm sick for a few days, I'll miss two or three, and then I'm out of the loop, and it's hard to catch up again, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah. then I see something had happened with you, but I that what happened a week ago. I had no idea. Mm-hmm. But like that woman. Oh my God. Yeah, it's not even, yeah, just... I I, I, I felt sorry for her at the start because you do, obviously, saying there's something wrong, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's gone. I can't. The sympathy, it's gone completely because it's Mm -hmm. malicious, hateful, vindictive, jealousy. And the sad thing is that a lot of your viewers, Carlin, are like me Mm -hmm. in the sense uh, of the times that they get to listen to you and they don't see any of the drama, you know. Right. So there's people out there slandering you, saying disgusting things, yeah, I know. All lies. I know. Like, I've reported these videos as well. I know. And Jimmy's, Jim, Jimmy's a kind, like, he goes, just don't worry about it. The truth will come out. The truth will come out. The truth will come it out. Doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't. Because you can't be a narcissist. No. I, I listen to another channel that, that uh, about narcissism. She's brilliant, actually. Right, right. She's a lovely girl. And um, uh, because I had dealings with a narcissist myself, you can't. You can't. There's no. Mm-hmm. They'll double and talk you, you. They'll word salad yeah. you. They'll deny, deny. They deflect. They, they, yeah. You'll never win. And it's always well, you. It's yeah. never them. Exactly. And and the proof is, which I learned my lesson the last time I I, I engaged with her. Uh, you send one text message and you get about four hundred back. You know, right. like novels. Because they're starved. <laughs> they they love I mean? the attention. It's a drug That made them. absolutely no sense. They, 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 they don't make sense. Together. I mean, I know I can't talk now and I sound awful. Old, no, old. no, you can I'm, ner- you I'm can nervous, you know. No, don't be nervous. Well, if I, if I was sitting beside in. you now, I'd be all right, you know. Yeah. But, um, but it disgusts me and I do get angry, but I'm not a hateful person. Yeah. I'm angry at her because I, I, I can see what she's trying to do. Oh, and she's got like 170 subscribers. And 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 like and actually, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place here, 
on one bed occasion. Mm -hmm. But when, when months, like I started watching you, I think it was back in December, uh, you know, when the Watts case started, I was obviously, uh -huh. and I just loved your videos. Like this is before you ever went live. Right. I was addicted to them and I loved your, your um, thoughts on them. And I agreed with almost everything that you said. Uh -huh. And, um, but when she came on the scene and I just, I used to change the channel. Oh, I know. I I'm know. not sure. I, I'm not I'm not joking you and I tried to like her because you liked her right but a lot my of inner people instincts, said that to me yeah it, my inner said instincts, that. You, she was bullying other people in the chat in the writing yeah and I you mm -hmm. know I never pay it and like I couldn't pushy, pay attention like, a lot pushy, to chat you know? so didn't see so I could I couldn't handle her and I I, I mean I know he, he got on and etc etc but uh, there was a very, very got, obvious because I didn't read her emails it. until after. That's what. That's the reason. When I finally sat down and read the emails, the motive was right there that she wanted the channel. So, Carolyn, the motive was obvious on air when you're listening. Yeah. The girl was. Do you remember when 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 he were, we were it, people were encouraging her have your mm -hmm. own channel. Oh yeah. Have your own okay, channel. But they were all in you cahoots. Were fantastic. You were telling yeah. people go and sign up for her, but <laughs> yeah, it's obvious people don't like her because. You've got 21,000 subs. She's got 170. Mm -hmm. Girl, please sit down. Look in the mirror at yourself. Yeah. It's not Carolyn. Leave her alone. Leave us alone. Do yeah. your own content. I mean, just, uh, hey. just ignore them because they're not going to you know? stop. And, and until they get a, probably another victim, I don't know. But but Carolyn, this is what's happened on YouTube. It's all these drama channels. Yeah. Oh, I know. Around. And they've got to stop. And they realize yeah. they get people looking in because they love nothing better than, oh, don't, someone said something about somebody. Let's all go in and see what's going on. It's pathetic. like, mm -hmm. And all it does is encourage hatred. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You stay know? on that. You know, if they want drama, there's plenty of channels to stay yeah, on drama. Go and fight with someone else. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> we love have a fight every people. night. Have we a love fight our every crime. Night. I, listen, I haven't baked for years. I just might take out the pots. <laughs> if I'm not. <laughs> in agony <laughs> but my kitchen is in bits i might just have to tidy it up a bit but uh but i love your channel and i love all the ramblers yeah and i mean we want to have you know fun we're here we want to have like and they call us haters like jesus i, I don't hate anybody <laughs> i don't even i don't hate her but i i hate what she's doing yeah and yep. she's damaging herself and she's damaging her children yeah you know and she's got beautiful kids i've seen the videos mm -hmm. of her children lovely kids so yep. why doesn't she just concentrate on herself Put out her own content and live and and let live. You have nothing to apologize for. It's her that needs all the apologizing. Mm -hmm. And she's lucky she's not in jail threatening your life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Seriously, it's it's insane, Carolyn. You, you. I know. Anyway, anyway, but, I'm going to stop this. Stop talking about this. I'm sorry. Yeah. I shouldn't have talked about this. You know. But, yeah. Um, just, I want yeah, you to get it off my chest you know, like just she, she made my life alone. a misery as well in, in in what she says, and she's she says horrible things to me, but it doesn't get to me. Mm -hmm. It flies but over. But that's me what people I, do. I mean, even you know? even the, if they don't have an argument, or so they'll attack you for your looks or your age or for uh, your body, whatever it is. They'll just hurl yeah. these these insults at you to deflect from the real issue because they don't have yeah. anything on the real issue. I hope my picture isn't on on YouTube. There is it. No. Oh, thank God. <laughs> As I'm looking at my phone, I said, "Oh, sweet Jesus." <laughs> I like to freak people out, and I'm like, oh, that's you a beautiful blouse you're wearing. I've got to go and get hair done. I've got to dry my hair. I haven't been well lately. Oh, God. Oh, my hair is a wreck, too. Like, look at this. I have this not fun bang. Is it's like, I, it's not a bother on you. But listen, it was lovely talking to you, Carolyn. It All was. Right? I'm glad you came on. Come on more often. I can't and believe I've done this, but I wanted, I, I just wanted to tell all the Ramblers that I love Carolyn. I love all of you. She's a fantastic lady. She's true, genuine. How much do you pay me for this, Carolyn? Yes, I'll, I'll have your checks in the mail. Jimmy's going to put it in the mail tomorrow. I want a blank check. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh my but goodness. I love you all. You're fantastic. No, group, but can I tell? Let me tell I'm them sorry, something. I don't Wait, interact don't, with you don't, as much as I do. Yeah, Carolyn? I want to tell. Don't go anywhere. I want to tell them something. Carol Lucy is very special to me because when I first started, Carol Lucy came. She was one of the first people in the chat, and when I saw her name it triggered a memory that I didn't remember for a very long time. And my father, when he used to come home from work <clears throat> before, um, he, when we were little, my sister and I, he used to come through the house and my sister's name was Marilyn and I was Carolyn. And he would just say, where's the best two little girls in the world? Carol Lucy and Meryl Lucy. <laughs> I never <laughs> remembered it until she came into the chat. 
And she said, that's my real name. When I said, that's so weird. She said, no, that's my real name. And I said, you know, you're an angel. I I don't think I said it that (laughs) night because she probably would have freaked out. But um, (laughs) she has like been very supportive of anything I've ever gone through. And she talks like my mother would to me. And I don't have my mother anymore. So I always tell her and I get emotional about it. But I say, you are my angel. And I know you are my angel because you came with that name. So, yeah, um, it's very emotional oh, to me, Karen. but it's so happy to talk to you. And then, so, yeah. Oh, Carolyn, thank you. That's beautiful. So, but yeah. I love you to bits, and I, I have a pretty good judge of character, Carolyn. She you is, know? she is. She gives me a uh, talking to, and she's like... Seriously, <laughs> she and I me. do. And you know, I, I write to you now and again. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I feel there's people, and, and, you know, and you know I've been right about a, a couple of others as well. You're always right, yeah. <laughs> you know, but... Um, you just need to be, you see, it's jealousy as well because you have a huge platform. Mm-hmm. And I think these people are like parasites. They're, they, yeah. they're hopping in here. It, 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 they have a motive. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, we don't have a motive to be right, uh, so. Right. Our motive is you, just to listen to you, to hear the latest updates on everything, to hear like all oh, this dollar tree. I love, I'm loving all this dollar. I think at the start, <laughs> the when you started doing that, I was going, oh, this is wrecking my head. No way. And I swear to God, you have me hooked on it now. <laughs> you don't have any, but do you have the Dollar Tree over there? No Dollar Trees, right? No, we, we've got the pound shop. Oh, the pound shops. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But the stuff you get, oh my, all that vintage <laughs> stuff is fantastic. And it has me, it has me thinking now, I want vintage, I want to do Christmas more special. But it's lovely, you know, and baking yeah. again, I haven't baked for years. Right. And, and crafting, I haven't crafted, I haven't crafted since I was at school. But right. like I may or may not, but the option is. And what you did with Jeff that time with, with the painting. That oh, was that brilliant. painting. That was like seven Thank hours. Jesus, that was fantastic. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> oh, but God. what you have is unique and people are jealous, Carolyn, unfortunately. It well, comes with the. You guys all make it unique. It's not just me. You know, it's everyone here. And I appreciate everybody. And like I said, that I tell you, we have the greatest community on YouTube. Yeah, I and, love everybody here. Yeah. They're fantastic. They really, yeah. I'm very supportive of each other. And we would have been very supportive of her if she wasn't such a douche. Right, and she wasn't right. using you, and you was using you and mm-hmm. looking to, to 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 get something else out of it. Yeah. yeah. You can't come in with a motive like that. Right. Won't Absolutely. Work, you know? Yep. Uh, you, you work like a slave, Carolyn. You've worked for years at this. <laughs> and it's yeah. it's criminal right. for people to, to do something like that. It really is. It's disgusting. Right. You everybody must have no able, morals. <laughs> everybody should be able to get along, do their own thing. If you don't like what exactly. someone's doing, go to another channel. You know? Exactly. 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 So. Anyway, I let you go, Pat. I've got to go. I hope you bake Tesco's with us. Tesco's is open at seven. It's, what time is it now? Half seven. Yeah, I've got to go to Tesco's. Oh, okay. And get, get hair dye. Get hair dye? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I just did my roots the other day because it was, it was bad. Um, oh, you're only a, you're only a young one. <laughs> yeah, but you, I still get I've had the roots for a long time. I know well, you've got great right there. Yeah, your skin is amazing, Karen. If you saw Thanks. my home, <laughs> it is. Thanks. Come here, you're, I let you go. I love you all to bits. I love okay? you too. Bye bye. And um, and take care. I talk to you soon. All right, love God you. Bless. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye everybody. Bye bye. That was nice. And Sassy's Sassy's still with sound effects. Um, Kristen. Oh, yeah, you, you, I can take you out if you can't get Let me see. Where's your number? Please, Karen. I okay, I will. Let me see. <laughs> okay, manage. <Thank> you. <laughs> manage, and let's see. I think I have to. Allow more. Zoom to take pictures. No way. Remove. Oh I got you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Good, girl. Thanks a million. Okay, bye-bye. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye, bye. Carol. That should take you. Bye, girls. Love you. Bye. I love you. Let me see. And, no, I don't want to enter a new screen name. I want hold on a minute. It said rename. What is it? Um, may, oh, here. Is that remove? What is that? Put on hold. Remove? Remove. Okay. Sorry. Here we go. <laughs> I was renaming her. Oh, boy. That was fun. Hi, Jeannie. How are you? So, um, oh, you've got pineapples, master. We're bowling. <laughs> We're we're up yeah. or Belinda Irby, but I think we're. What time is it? Oh, it's almost three thirty-three, Lisa. Two more minutes. Let me get rid of this. How do I? Casbat said we're a cult. It's about the pineapple. Oh, the pineapple cult. <laughs> do they have pineapple flavored Kool Aid? Oh, I don't know. That would know. be funny if they did. 
Ugh. Yeah, I know it wouldn't be, but I mean, it'd be, it would be funny. It would for us. <laughs> yeah. I don't like Kool-Aid, but it'd be funny. When I was a little kid and there was that Jim Jones thing and I had seen that, right. And I saw what happened and I just, I used to, th I was little and I was like thinking of ways like how that I was on that line and how I would have gotten past that Kool-Aid. Like I had thought of all different kinds of scenarios. Like five years old, I'm like, how, oh my gosh, like would I've been able to take it in my mouth like, or just pretend I drank it. And because I didn't really understand everything like there, you know, I thought they, uh, that freaked me out. My, uh, on my bucket list, sorry, it's off topic, but they're talking about Ireland here. And I have a friend who just moved from Ireland to uh, the UK because of her parents getting sick. And they're both, they both passed. But uh, she used to live in Ireland. And I said, that's on my bucket list. I will visit Ireland before I die. It's the only place I still want to visit. Mm -hmm. She said she'd be there for me. But, you know, obviously she's now in the UK. So I probably won't be seeing Ireland with her. Oh. Hey, 333. Three, three. There we go. 333. Three, three. What'd you say about the not everyone drank the Kool Aid? Some people were given shots of cyanide. Oh, um, don't drink the pineapple kombucha. <laughs> there is pineapple, it's good. It's pineapple and something else. Yeah, the Jim Jones Kool Aid. I, I, I would really, I, I kept playing that over in my mind. You know, what kind of five year old does that kind of stuff? I don't know. I remember we were in Florida too when it happened and um, I was we were sitting in the condominium and I'm just like, mm. you're going to head to bed? Okay, good night, Danielle. Does anyone know? I think um, they changed their name, Trudy. I heard that they changed their name and I don't know what to, but I know Tinky Tinkerton changed her name too and she's Joe March. And she comes in under Joe March now. I think they changed their name. I'm, I'm, I'm certain of it. That's why you don't see it anymore. A lot of people change their names and then if they don't tell you, you, you don't know who it is right away. Because I figured it out because the Joe March was telling me like, oh, I have like, she continued a conversation about that little girl about the reading. And I was like, well, wait a minute. That was Tinky Tinkerton. That was, and then I'm like, did you change? Yeah, yeah, I used to be Tinky Tinkerton, okay. Then, I, then it makes sense. I used to be aftershock, if that helps. You were aftershock? Yeah. Oh, because then there's narc shark. I, I, always, I can't say that. I always say narc shark, and it's narc shock. But I, I can't get it. And then there's some people like, I really like their name, and then they go and change it. Like if crazy cat lady changed her name, I'd be really pissed. Because then you know somebody as Crazy Cat Lady. And then if she just comes in and changes her name like to Louise Pinkins, then I don't, it's not the same. I don't know where GB is. That's, that's who I'd like to find. I have no idea where GB is. GB used to be the first one in the room like 90% of the time. Of anyone talks to, yeah, if anybody knows a Joe Schmo, who, it's actually a woman, it's not a man, but they change, I know they changed their name, Trudy, and I don't know. There was a whole thing where people were saying that they passed away, but that was like a hoax, and um, Gigi is here, but GB, remember GB? April will remember if April's here, because they used to always, like, she, GB would get in first and get in second. Always. GB was always first. Purple Avatar GB. I don't know where GB is. Yes, Bethany. You do, Adacor?
GB was always first, I know, and now you, you can't find GB. I even emailed GB, said, are you all right, GB? I can't get a hold, I hope everything's okay. I really, it's weird. This is why I just use my name. I know, I can't, yeah, and it's hard when somebody changes their name and then you're used to talking to them and they come in under a completely different name and then you're like all lost. I've seen a lot of names since I came on here. <laughs> yeah, well, life, right? Yeah, I work. Who else was I looking for? Um, oh my gosh, who? Uh, well, we we were all looking for Granny and um, Lisa. Sl was it Lisa Slater, right? And Granny, remember Granny? Say good night to Granny. Say hello to Granny. Um, haven't seen her around anywhere who else there was someone else too the other day I'm mean, like there's so many people that come when I'm driving and I'm like oh my gosh so many people and I'm like where are they what happened that's what I'm saying everybody needs like a buddy to find out um and I mean people that were really interactive not that just can't um There was someone I just thought about the other day. DC lights. At... Oh, she's been in wildlife. She's been in. That's uh, Peggy. She, she's been in a lot. Peggy Johnson. Old sea dog. Yeah. And then wait a minute. There was. Um... Oh my gosh! I just thought of like I thought of like four people the other day, and I'm like. What the heck? Where are they? Um, it'll, it'll come to me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to email. Because like the ones I have email addresses, then I'll email and say, are you okay? Just let me know you're okay. Um, Oh yeah, uh, Swift. I think you're thinking of Sappy Sappy. Sharon Carroll. Um, now it's bothering me that I can't think of the, that I. Veggie Girl, Veggie Girl's around. She's not around like a lot. She doesn't make it to a lot of lives. Um, yeah, manager of three monsters. Exactly. She has that whole thing going on with Avery. And I, she told me that they had a move. They didn't have internet. And so I think she's without like, in, I, I think she's without it. I worry about her. I keep, I send her emails so that hopefully when she gets connected somewhere, she'll be able to get to them. But yeah, I worry about that. Julie A, I know she doesn't make the lives, but I just saw her in the community post. She's there, so I know she's, but she used to make it. You know, the other one that used to be here was a lot was um, uh, Knitting Artisan, right? And she had her son, he was, and then she used to be on a lot of late nights. She used to, and then when I mentioned her the last time, she said, no, I'm here or something, but I think she changed her name. I think she changed her name and I don't know, it's, it's confused me so much when they change their name. Um, and then there's the other one that had, her name was Zoe something. She was not well last year. She was having surgeries and she was going in and out of the hospital. And I have her on my Facebook on the true crime page. I've got to check because I thought I saw her here with like a new name. Um, are you stayed, you avoided the chat, so no, it's, oh, okay. Right? Tr yeah, Trudy, I, but I think she changed her name because the last time I said it, she, somebody said, no, 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 she's here, she's under something, I, you have to, she's under a different name, she's under a different name. Um, let's see.
was there was also but I, I wish I could remember the name it could they come to me when I'm driving oh I know the the one Deanna and Deandra um, remember Deandra and she her, they witnessed that horrible thing at the Cracker Barrel remember that that guy that oh. shot someone or her husband was one of the ones that t tackled them Deandra and um, and then there was another Deanna who was going to change her name and her husband was very 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 ill and she was going to make me a squirrel box remember and, and she was always laughing about and she even had a, like one video on her channel where she made a spoof of CK and I haven't seen her in ages 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 and um, I'm trying to think yeah right and there was somebody else I haven't seen in ages and then you worry especially if people were sick or something and you don't hear from them or anything and, and, and um, Also, I know um, we used to have like kind, that's why you see kindness in Colorado or kind, what, what was the, the, we used to have a kind in Colorado and then Sister Shay, who, so yeah, and then there was, um, Sunny Bunny was here tonight, Bill and Mac. You have an incredible memory. Yeah, I do, but it comes to me more when I'm driving. Oh, yeah. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. Remember Edelweiss? She even came on. She's in Colorado, Edelweiss. And um, yeah, Alley Cattail, she's been coming in. She hasn't been in a lot. She said she's had something go on, but I have seen her in the last week or so. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Haven't seen Save Robbie in here in a while. Mm hmm. I'm trying to think of. I keep thinking in the Edelweiss did the phone bill, right? Where is Edelweiss? Now, somebody see that's another one that might have changed her name. So we should have like a master. Go crazy with everyone. Let's see. Oh, no, you, I think you mean no time. But I've started to see no time popping up again. It seemed like he wasn't on YouTube for a while or something, but I've now seen him popping up again, so maybe I'll come back in. Um, hey, Sassy Darcy. Well, High 69 is here, Sassy Darcy. He's High 61 now. He changed his name to High 61 because something with the Civil War. No, don't change it, Crazy Cat Lady. You can't do that. Uh -uh. No, but we had, and then, um, Oh, remember the one in Florida? She changed her name. The one that did that, uh, she did a video once about digging a hole in Florida with her son, remember? Um, down in Florida. She changed her channel name to like, it's Mystic something. Because I, you know why? Um, I see it in YouTube because she uploaded the video there and they, they send me a thing. They say, someone uploaded your video. And I'm like, what? But it was her. Larry, yeah. She's digging a hole in Florida or Texas or No, Florida, any, she dug it. Well, I know, but any you know, anybody can dig a hole anywhere, but it's not gonna be the same as digging a hole in the ground here. Oh yeah. We have a lot of we have a lot of really hard dirt. Hard no, not like New York. You need a pickaxe. It's not dirt, so it's you know it's there's like sand dirt on top, and it 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 can't even grow plants in in the ground. 
you have to add all kinds of if you're going to do a if you're going to do a garden you got to add all kinds of topsoil first mm. you know here you can't even you can't even <laughs> dig like an inch you have to have a pickaxe yeah that's what it's like we've got that hard clay we have shale we have rock i mean it's just you there's so many rocks So many rocks, crazy rocks. Um, the house that they just built now, you should see what they, you should see the size of the rocks they took out and right up to the lake, you know, the, at what they took out, it, it's just, you can't even imagine. It's sandy where you are, really, Sharon? New York broke off from Virginia. Lots of rock. Tara Lucy, yeah. Uh, hey, Jennifer James, love, love the call, yeah. She made a lot of really good points. Who did? What? Carol Lucy made the Oh, Carol Lucy, really yeah. Carol fun. Lucy's great, yeah. We had hard dirt and rocks. Where where are you, Linda Irby? Some kind of sexual assault. Really choking on ashes? Sorry to hear that. Oh, oh, come on, Sass. I wanted her to say they're always after my lucky charms. No, that's Happy Bee Cakes. Yeah, where's Happy Bee Cakes? I haven't even got it. Like, uh, I usually get that she uploaded a video or something, but I don't think I've had that. Sassy is, yeah, she's, this, she's like, I, I don't know, she does that now. I wonder if it's because she was on medication for the Lyme disease, and I just don't know if she just feels better or whatever. Like, what is that? Yeah, Liz, that's not true. Um, someone in the chat said what first? You got harassed in Colorado by a drunk driver? It's just three, three, what do you mean harassed? In the car he was harassing you? And you were driving or you were walking? How is it? You mean like a road rage? He followed you and ran you off the road, but you were in a car, right? And then he ran you off the road? And what what happened? Did he come around when he ran you off the road? That's not true, Bethany. Home Depot is Alma? Really? I don't know. I've never, I mean, I've gotten, if I've gone in there and I've had like, one time I had like a shop back and two other tools and somebody says, oh, somebody's going to be very happy for Christmas. And I just thought, how, what if I was buying them for myself? Probably the two other beagles. 
Oh yeah. He got out of his car and he tried to open the door, but it was locked. And what do you do? Did he walk away? You're lucky he didn't have a gun or something if he went that crazy. You never go to the Home Depot? Well, it's fine. You should go to the Home Depot. I like Lowe's better. <laughs> really? I'm not a big... Yeah. I don't know. Maybe just because we don't have, like, we have more um, Home Depots than Lowe's. Over here, out here, they're like uh, the, the Home Depot's on every other corner. Yeah. And why do you like Lowe's better? Just, well, I lived closer to one, so it was easier to get there. Uh-huh. But I've been over to the Home Depot not that far away, too. And I just, I don't know, I guess I just got used to the Lowe's. Yeah. You like Lowe's better, too, Lisa? You think a better selection? For what? Depends they, what you're looking for. They take better care of their plants, too, at Lowe's. My three-year-old always has to go to Home Depot. <laughs> Listen to Carol Lucy, Jeannie. You'll get the gist of it. Our Lowe's has more knowledgeable employees. You looked for Jeff's video, which one? Can you find his channel? Crazy and the other, um, oh yeah, when is that happening, Diana? When are they going to start that, the retrial of that? Do you know when they're starting the retrial of, um, what's her name in the, uh, the FSU? Do you know, Earthbound? Do I know what? Any when they're going to any... start the trial for that, the, for the retrial of that woman in the FSU. Oh yeah, she goes back on... Her retrial is April 13th. Oh, wow. April 13th. Other than that, Diana, no, I don't know of any other real big cases or trials right now. Well, we have I Crazy mean, and we have Durst. Well, yeah, but beyond that, um, I've tried, tried to watch the last bit of that Wisconsin trial. Hmm. And it was actually just as, it was probably the most boring trial ever. And uh, uh, she actually got on the stand. Serial spent killer. A day and a half on the stand in her own defense. That never turns out well for a defendant. No, not usually. <laughs> no, or, or representing yourself. Right. And I don't think it's going to do her any favors either. I know, yeah, a Jinx is very good. If you haven't seen the Jinx, watch that and watch All Good Things, the movie, watch All Good Things. And then I've got to remember what the other, um, what the other film about it is. It's very good, but you should really watch the Jinx. Yeah, I'm gonna, I hadn't even, known about it but I will be watching it probably tomorrow mm -hmm. yeah it's very good very very good There's November 4th others. he goes back but I don't think is that is I thought the trial was starting in January though I don't know unless they moved it ahead oh that NFL player He's going. He's got to go back for on trial again. Who? Did never watch. Didn't watch his first trials Which either. One? But um, Kellen Winslow. And I have no idea where he played. Oh, they probably did choking on ashes. It's a very, very high-profile case. There's been, like I said, at least three movies on it. Documentaries, movies. The 
Christmas stories every day. Oh, when they, I mean, Hallmark, are you thinking, I think you're thinking of the Hallmark channel. They have something like that on the investigation discovery, like Christmas murders. I mean, it's something crazy like that. Um, like on Mother's Day, they have mothers that kill all day, like something like that. It's crazy, right? Oh my gosh. With Lori Lachlan, I don't know. I heard Felicia Huffman got out like three days early, right? Yep. And as far as I know, Lori Lachlan's not going in. She hasn't gotten anything yet. But she's, she's still pleading at, not guilty, right? Right. And she's she's looking at a lot more time. Yeah, she paid like five hundred. Was it five hundred thousand dollars? I don't know. I didn't pay that much attention. And her daughter didn't even want to go. Her daughter now is so pissed off at her because her YouTube channel says it ruined her life. So that must be fun. Her mother must be like, thanks. You, that, that, that must be fun at Thanksgiving. I can't even imagine doing something like that and have your daughter throw that in your face every five minutes. That's something never, that's never gonna, that's gonna be under the surface. 50 years from, well, maybe she might, uh, I don't know how old is she, you know, 30 years from now, daughter will still be bringing it up. I don't think that. No, it was 500. I'm, I'm fairly certain Karen McCann, it was 500. Yeah, say $500,000. Texas woman, I don't think Jody Arias will get her appeal. Very few people actually even get to, you know, there might get be it. additional charges for Lori. Very few people get uh, retrials. Oh, really? She's not going to like that, Aunt Becky. <laughs> <sighs> Isn't that just the way we all remember her too? But you know what? She's in all. She's in a lot of those. Hallmark Christmas movie. I know, yeah. and she got dropped. She was in one last year when it broke, and she got, it's been about a year, and she got dropped. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Aunt Becky but, wasn't so nice. And so, you know, all we ever see her as is, a, you know, the girl next door type. Right, right. And then it Unless, shocked everybody, yeah. Until you hear the news, you know. <laughs> Not so girl next door anymore. Her sentence could go up to 40 years, Sam. Oh my gosh, she's probably freaking. At least Aunt Becky was. I was reading an article. Um, it was specifically about Felicity Hoffman and the reason why she, they think that she got a better deal mm -hmm. was because she admitted to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I still think 14 days is too bad. And, you know, it's too little an amount of time for something like that. But she, okay. um, did, she didn't wait. Now, Felicity Huffman, I think she gave, it was like 10,000. What, what was it? 10,000 or $15,000? Lori Lachlan did like 500,000 and, and some other stuff, right? She did other stuff. Right, but it's fraud either way. Uh, absolutely, but I'm saying <clears throat> Felicity Huffman owned up to it. Right. Yeah. And but and that's probably why she got a better, you know, that's why everybody thinks she got a better deal, but I still think it's not enough time. Chris Watts is not entitled to an appeal. He actually gave up his right to appeal. different cases because of how they went about it <clears throat> and then there's other people right but not they're, they're the most famous you're wanting <clears throat> you're waiting for the retrial of Sean Foley
they took away a deserving spot. Absolutely, Sharon. I agree. And I bet you all the, the you know, the parents of those kids and those kids didn't think 14 days was enough either. <clears throat> but she didn't even get 14 days. Well, I know, but technically yeah. she got 14 days. She just didn't spend it all right. in there. Would she, why'd she get released early? Good behavior? Uh, because They said it was because they released early if it's like supposed to be a weekend when they're supposed to get out. Oh. But I believe her actual date was supposed to be a Monday, not the weekend, but they let her out on Friday. Hmm. There's a... I oh, was, I'm sure. Was, yes, spoiled. Yes. As I was watching court TV today, trying to get through that horrible in Wisconsin trial, a ticker went across the bottom and said, there is a rapist who was serving life who was actually released by accident from a Georgia prison. By accident? Yeah. How did that happen? Paperwork? No, no. It just, you know, it's just that little ticker so you get like two sentences. Oh, yeah. and <clears throat> they don't they don't give you all the detail and I cannot remember his name. Hmm. Do they I mean is he still out? As far as I know, he's a Hispanic guy but his and his name has he's got, you know, two last names. Mm -hmm. The hyphenated last name. Right. But uh to remember it after saying it six oh, just okay. once. It's difficult for me. I don't have your memory. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think most people have your memory. I feel bad for the kids of those parents. They will have that following there. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, to box a rescue, that's... She's going to be like, I didn't even want to go to that dumb school. What's wrong with you, Mom? Now my whole YouTube... Yeah. Because she was on her YouTube channel saying how she was blowing off school that her mother spent $500,000 to get her into. It's just crazy. So, Linda, did you happen to see that ticker? What is that? Oh, wait. I got the, I got, no, I got, I got the scoop on it. Hold on. Oh, and Mac sent it to me. <clears throat> I have to open it for my mail because my phone is being a little fussy. See, I didn't call it a jerk. I just said it was being fussy. Um... Munoz Mendez. I've got it. Here we go. A convicted rapist released from Georgia in error. The authorities were carrying out a manhunt for an inmate after he walked free, apparently by accident, the State Department of Corrections said. The inmate, Tony Macon Munoz Menendez, has been incarcerated at Rogers State Prison in Reedsville, Georgia, about 65 miles west of Savannah. He walked free on Friday at 11.30 a.m., according to the Georgia Department of Corrections. The department, of the, the department, one of the country's largest prison systems, with nearly 52,000 inmates, announced his release in a statement three days after the incident. It did not explain how the error had occurred or why it had not been revealed sooner. A spokesperson for the department, Lori Benoit, said, in reviewing the circumstances surrounding the release, she's reviewing them and would carry out a full internal investigation. The priority of the Georgia Department of Corrections is apprehending the offender as quickly as possible, and at this time, we have all resources focused on the search. According to online correction records, 
Mr. Mendez, 31, was sentenced to life in prison for rapes that occurred in 2010 and 2012, as well as aggravated child molestation in 2010. John War, the, the Gwinnett County prosecutor who handled the case, said that Mr. Menendez had begun molesting seven-year-old daughter of his girlfriend at the time, culminating in rape culminating in rape several years later. Lovely. Mr. War said he helped convict Mr. Mendez in 2015 and he said by phone on Tuesday that he just learned about the accidental release by reading an article online. He'd been out of prison mistakenly for about 60 hours by the time we heard it, he said. Mr. War said that he immediately called the victim who lives with a foster mother and they said they were both shocked. Neither had been contacted by the corrections department, he said. Something needs to be done about protocols, the procedures about verifying who they're releasing, Mr. War said, of the department. Mr. War and the state had recently passed a constitutional amendment bolstering the rights of crime victims to be notified about updates in legal cases involving those who have harmed them. I don't think any of these were adhered to, definitely not in a timely manner, the corrections department asked for help in capturing the inmates, adding that he should not be approached. The public is reminded to call 911 or call 478-992-5111. And let's get his picture up there in case anyone sees him. Let's and you know it won't be long now, you know, since he's out, that he could be anywhere right now. There you go. So if you see him, call that number. It's some guy they let out of prison by accident, Bethany, in, in Georgia, who was is supposed to be in prison for life for rape and for child uh, rape, and uh, he was let loose. You thought he was found locking your windows? Uh, well, the, I mean, Bella Mack just sent me something that he wasn't found. So, I mean, unless, was he found or not? He could be anywhere. He could be in Colorado or Texas or, you know, Mexico. Anywhere. Where in Georgia? What did I say? Anybody remember? Um, Reedsville. Very good, Liz Stewart. You, you get a gold star tonight. Um, somebody that wasn't supposed to. Out of that, somebody that was supposed to be in for life. Hopefully they get him back. Yeah, hopefully, right? It's all we it's all we need is a another rapist running around. Nobody needs that. Did they mix him up with rapist. they didn't tell us, Bethany. They said they're running a full internal investigation, but they won't release they won't say they don't they don't tell us, Larry. They they, they won't tell us. You can't get, we can't get your admin right, so we just take your dangerous self out for a walk. You were reading about the McCandless case? Oh, there was uh, somebody in Georgia that was released from prison he shouldn't have been. He is serving is supposed to be serving a life sentence, um, and he was released by mistake, though they haven't said why. No, Peggy, you only see your name highlighted when someone highlights your name.
You get right, absolutely, Karen. Hey, Robin. Are you baking cake with us, Robin? You didn't do. The silly things you see when you're watching the tickers. Yeah, I, yeah but some of the stations, they, everything is breaking news, and it's not. Breaking well, news. That. Breaking news. I, I don't like that when they announce breaking news and it's not, because then it's like right. the boy that cried wolf. I don't like it. Breaking news should be breaking news. Absolutely, yeah, I know. You get conditioned, and now we're so conditioned that break, oh, it's not really breaking news. And then one day if it is breaking news, it's like going to be like, what? No Boxer Rescue. We haven't seen her yet tonight. Hopefully, no Boxer be here Rescue. Tomorrow. Is, oh, you haven't. Well, oh, who? I thought you said Boxer Rescue. I'm like, no, she's here. Well, I was telling. I was answering her question. Oh. She asked if Deb checked in from court today, and I. No, not know. yet. No, but I, I, not yet. I, I think it's just still jury selection. Breaking news on it. You had the best soup, all veggies. Oh yeah, great. Choking on ashes, that sounds good. Your husband is a corrections officer. He had to take inmates to the train station. But up to the moment, they left the prison. They were showing signs of becoming a reoffender. Oh, great. The recidivism rate is very high. No, he didn't have to punch him in the nose today. Not today. Heard that nowadays breaking news is insert any celebrity steps out in a sheer dress. Yeah, that's not even breaking. That's cause that's normal now. Oh, Jimmy was making me nuts. We were in, we were on Walmart, and you know how the people of Walmart and you know, sometimes they have like see through pants and stuff. Well, there was this woman running the self checkout, and he was he said that she had white. They look like jeans, but they weren't jeans. But they were like I guess like jeggings, and apparently they were see through. And she was running the self checkouts, and he kept going, "Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, just just look, is that are those her?" And I'm like, "I can't look, cause like I I can't." And he was driving me crazy, because he's like, "There's something," and it it wasn't yeah, um, you know, it was just pretty bad, pretty pretty bad. Um, like, and I don't even know how they that they let her. Like somebody would say, "I think." maybe you should go change that's not appropriate um i don't know it, it was weird i couldn't look and jimmy kept saying no just, just look. I mean, he's like he's, he's like i can't believe this i think i'm seeing i'm like no i, I can't i said yes because <laughs> i wouldn't be able to but you think somebody would say something like their supervisor like you know what? Um, I'm going to be able to wear those. <laughs> you do Walmart pickup? The worst ones are when they wear the nude colored. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was an employee. Yes, wake up. <laughs> It was the woman running the, the self-checkout stuff. <laughs> A lunatic, but not to be, like, exposing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it is for some people. Like, who, the nude leg, I mean, who thinks that looks good? I mean... Only those lunatics. 
And when people are losing their pants, you know, they don't feel that they're losing their pants. I don't know how people don't feel their pants down, like, and I'm not talking about the kids that, we're, I'm, I'm talking about people that are really losing their pants. Or that, wearing them. That, that their shirt is hiked all the way up in the back and the, they're like, they're wearing leggings or something. They're like way, way down low. And mm -hmm. they, you're telling me they don't feel that air? How do they <laughs> not feel it? I don't get it. How, how could... The air gives me anxiety. I don't know how they don't know. I don't know how. I just, I just wonder if they don't feel it or they, maybe there was something in them that's a little bit of an exhibitionist because people are exhibitionists, right? Yeah. They are. There are lots of them. So is it that or is it that they really don't feel it? Like, do plumbers really not feel that plumber's butt or whatever it's called? Do they really not feel that when they're under your sink? Or do they just well, figure like, heck, I don't care? I think it's more of an I don't care. so gross and then you got to look at it and then they're asking you something and all you can do is look at that and you're like I don't want to look at that why can't he pull his pants up I'd wear like a union suit if I was a plumber I'd wear like a spandex union suit under the stuff or something I mean it's gross they should they should design something like that for plumbers What about a spandex union suit, Diana? So that even if their pants fall down, they've got a union suit on there, like spandex, and it's... My plumber was the worst. I know, it's nasty. And there's so many jokes. Like, if there were so many jokes about a profession, overalls, right? But then they might say, oh, they're too constricting. So that's why I'm thinking like a spandex, you know, an active motion union suit. I don't know if I would want to see them in spandex if everything fell off either. I'd rather see spandex in their like chubby butt and crack. Because that's, I don't want to see that. Sorry, I've I had enough of that. That's fine if no pants actually fall off, off. You don't mind that? I don't, I don't like that. I mean, oh. I'm saying is the, the spandex would be okay as long as the pants didn't fall all the way off. <laughs> well, okay. Even if the pants, I, I'll take the spandex, you know, but I just can't take the, the, what I, the other view and they don't get it. They don't get it. Jimmy was laughing so hard because our plumber and he was doing other things, right? So he was up on a ladder one time he was up on a ladder one time down our kitchen hallway and i swear to you his pants were half like his half of his butt was showing half of his butt was showing huh. and jimmy was <laughs> jimmy was purposely trying to get me to look with that so because he knew i would lose it right so he kept saying things so i'd have to look down there or he'd be pretend he was taking a picture like he'd go should i take the pictures for the blog now of this being done right so he, he was he was taking pictures just to see and the guy <laughs> he didn't care he's like we could put these on the blog these will be good hon he's doing the stuff up you know like oh my gosh it was ridiculous and he didn't feel it i couldn't even look down the hallway i was just like and, and jimmy you know jimmy he was going to town like don't worry, honey. I've got, I've got your car, your camera. I'm taking it with the good camera now, so you can put him right on the blog when he's done. You know, I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> they don't, they don't, I, I, they don't care. Either that, exactly. or they're like so calloused or something. Maybe <laughs> they don't feel the air. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. It was bad. It was really bad. And Jimmy was just going to town. Stuff is whizzing by here. 
left you a message. I didn't block you. Elizabeth Grossman, you're not blocked. You're in here talking. I've never seen you before in my life, so I'd say that's a trollish comment, but whatever. You're not blocked. How about a suit like you climb in and zip up? Yeah, that's what I mean, a union suit. There we go. We got Medgas guy saying, looks like I came in on the wrong night for a discussion. I am a plumber, and I am always careful not to show a plumber's crack in mixed company. <laughs> well, then you're good, Medgas guy. Do you, what about a union suit? What do you think for the plumbers that med gas guy that do, would you think a un, is there something that would help them out? What's your secret? You should put it out here so they could hear it and, and, and do it because my plumber needs serious help. He needs really bad help. Pass along the advice union suit would work or what male romper <laughs> buy him a pair of spandex <laughs> Okay, Elizabeth, but you're not blocked. So don't no, no worries then, right? You should be all good. You're not blocked. His secret is he might have a wife that cares. <laughs> I used to work at Intel and when working in the clean rooms, we would wear a Tyvek suit like oh yeah yeah but what do you do is that which but what do you do as a plumber though can you see the neighborhood play <laughs> genie yep i should all have to look like chip and dale's they're gonna you were a plumber for almost be down. 20 years, okay. What would you wear? You're going to have nightmares tonight? Why, about the plumber's um, buttocks? <laughs> <laughs> we just wear blue jeans and a work shirt. Yeah, but how do you keep them up so they don't actually show any? Because that's what nobody seems to be able to figure out. What about leggings? And they can hike them up really high, like under their arms, like Larry Lubner, and wear a shirt over on top, and then they would then they could bend all the way over, and their leggings would be up under their arms, and they could call them plumbers, plumbers, plumbers jeggings, or something like that. Some kind of fun name. Plumber, and they could be like, oh, these are like butter. Remember when those those LuLaRoe before they started to break and everybody had all holes in them and they would go out and they'd have holes all over. Oh my gosh, so many people said to me like, oh, these are so great. And then they went to the store and all along the, the seam in the bank, they were mortified because they had all holes in them when they got home. I don't know. I heard people say that and they were like, oh, I'm like, wow, that's crazy. I'm thinking like a long t-shirt that tucks in. Now, what about a long, long shirt, like an 80s kind of thing with a uh, little stirrup pant, you know, like the leggings that had the little stirrup pants. It could wear some slouchy socks and a long shirt. <laughs> <laughs> May as well add some leg warmers It could warmers be the new attire. It could be the new attire for plumbers. Throw the leg warmers in. Mm. <laughs> we can go all the way back to- Really long, yeah. The 80s aerobics days that snaps up <laughs> like a little baby kind of shirt a bodysuit bo like remember the bodysuits yeah 
I did too, Dar Sassy Darcy. And I would still wear my stirrups if I could find some. Caspot, is it available? I'm asking you. I don't want to go. What happened? Ch choking on ashes? Urkel, the comedian kid with the suspenders. Yeah. Did I do that? Um. I always loved Steve Urkel. Steve Urkel. He was annoying, but he was funny. <laughs> you would still wear stirrups? Hey, bring it back. Start a trend. That's what I said. Start the, you start that trend, Sassy. Okay, Sassy Darcy, let's both get a pair of stirrup pants. You show when we get them, you can show yours and I'll show mine. If we can find any, that is. Plumber rolls. That's yeah, plumber rolls. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. See, you laugh and we probably yeah, plumber rolls. We probably got a lot of good ideas between us. Somebody probably listens to this and is like, how'd you come up with the plumber rolls? I don't know. It came to me one night when I was, I went to bed watching YouTube and I woke up with the idea. <laughs> plumber rolls. It was in my mind. I don't know, Peggy Cad. I haven't seen any. I heard she is kindness cake. Yeah. There are t-shirts with a head and shoulders of ladies and lower back. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. The simple fix. One better looking plumbers with same pants, two same plumbers but with proper size belt and pants you're passing on the stirrup pants they can mm -hmm. cut into your feet if you have long legs really I have long legs and my, my stirrups they, they would always like stretch out they were never real real tight like that you got to get the right inseam they fall down because the men's waist is larger and hips are smaller Oh, is that why, Linda? So you then their could, pants have to be redesigned. Well, you could think they could, like you said, they got to feel the air. Just yank them up. Kind of like the no more yank tanks. <laughs> no more yank tank. <laughs> your plumber shirt, like your thunder shirt. Right. We can do that same type of thing with a pair of pants I would think I think giraffes would look cute in leggings because they have those nice little skinny legs slouchy socks they would look nice <laughs> they wouldn't even need a shirt <laughs> that I could see a character giraffe with leggings I'd like to see somebody draw that J Bell's draws really well she should draw me a giraffe with leggings <laughs> so what we're trying to do is eliminate the old infamous plumber's crack yeah yes Ned gas guy yeah, trying to trying to make the world a more beautiful place, Med Gas Guy. No more mooning. Make it better. Don't but don't you? Because then if you have little kids, like they come in, they can't help themselves, right? They're like, mom, mom, they can't stop, right? And then you're like, because they have no sensor, no filter, nothing. <laughs> you're right, Julie T. Most of them can't pull them up over their entire crack because they can't get their pants yeah, over their how belly. Come, yeah, and the guys that wear their pants under their belly, right? Mm-hmm. Can you imagine if women did, I mean, it's just, it's so gross, okay? And it's like, and then they're like so proud of their belly and they've got like this huge shirt on, tucked in, and their pants and their belt sitting under their big gut it's just I can't. nothing wrong with the big gut as long as you can keep everything covered <laughs> but it's just like why can't they just put their pants like did they don't want to go up a size or something like why do they have to keep their pants under their belly <laughs> that's what I mean why that look is not good no totally Get pants you can pull up over your belly and keep it up when you get under the sink, for heaven's sake. 
or guys wear the boxer pants so low you see yeah well that that's that style i mean they do that purposely but i'm talking about ones that are not doing this stuff purposely okay elizabeth jog on That's why some men more about. I just don't know where, like somebody said, okay, well that looks good. Just put it, yeah, put it under there. Don't get another size jeans. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the mom jeans on right Saturday Night Live, right? They're like up to, why can't they have dad jeans? <laughs> two scooter chick can't wait to see what the title for this vlog is going to be <laughs> jeggins no dad dadkins dad what could you call the dad uh, legging jeans that they could just pull up way over their belly and not have to wear it down under their gut crime and crack <laughs> that's good two scooter that is i might have to use that <laughs> it's so it's so much fun to have all these people i might have to say good... cracked because they might youtube might think it's you know d-r-u <laughs> yes. so i might have to say cracked <laughs> you've got you have a great sense of humor and then you've got a group full of people who have a great sense of humor mm -hmm. and, and then all, you know, everybody is so, you know, that, but then we're all just like a support group. Mm -hmm. And this is a better support group than most support groups in my local area. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And I, I stay up, look forward to your lives. Tonight I stayed up later than I, you know, than I <laughs> planned on, but that's because you said you wanted somebody to call in. Yeah, it happens almost every night. We stay up later than we plan, right? Well, the last couple of nights I took my meds early enough to be asleep. The last night we got all kind of like, I, it's really weird when I consider fourth, like I got off last, we got out like 4.30 or something. Like, wow, it's early. That's pretty like, wow, it's early. Like Jimmy says like, well, are you, <laughs> are you going to be done like before it's, <laughs> it's time to get it? Because like, now I can just get Ethan right up for bed. Like, that's how it was most times. Like, I'd get off, and then I'd get Ethan up, and it was just done. And he's like, Mom, did you stay up all night? And I'd be like, no. <laughs> the simple joys. Did you see her comment? Oh, no. Let me see. Stick simple. a chili down there. See if that plumber ever oh, be stick a chili to down there. again. <laughs> Whoops, I dropped something. No, but, I mean, it, it's bad. Yeah, like, cause I don't know. I, I don't know why um yeah crime crack and chlamydia yeah i think i'd get censored on youtube for that one um I'll... oh my goodness about the cato book i have read the comments that i've been getting the girl's ages wrong but i'm reading no it was her name wrong it was she called bella bell b-e-l-l-e -L -L -E, and she got the rusak's name wrong Your dad has to be checked before he leaves the house because he doesn't know how to dress. You know, I'm sure that the letters from Chris actually had Bella's name spelled out properly at least once. Oh, at least once, yeah. So if this woman can't read, I don't think she got letters from Christopher. Yeah. I think she just made a lot of it up from the from the actual discovery. Mm -hmm. But then she went on that other channel and did that interview and said, "I think he, I think we got the truth." Yeah. <laughs> um, of course she's going to say it because she's trying to sell her book. Right, and and that was the day the book actually came out that they posted that, but. It's like, no, I think that we got the truth. No, 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 no. You got more lies, and whatever little bit you did get from Chris is more lies. And if you actually had letters from Chris, why didn't you publish any of them? Mm -hmm. So 
so we could see them. And right. even then, how can you prove it was Chris's handwriting? Yeah, well, his handwriting, you can, you can see it. Like in that other letter, you really can see that's Chris. Because when they put the date on top, you could see that's totally not Chris. Um, he has a very specific handwriting that I think would be easy to show if she had the letters. It just, I mean, at least publish the, the ones you're referencing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she should. She said somewhere I heard her say that she was going to get a, um, a binder with, pay, you know, like those plastic page savers. And she was going to put um, like the fly lady. Do you ever remember the fly lady? She always had the binder with the page savers. But anyway, um, she said she's going to put the letters in there at her book signings. Now, I haven't, has anybody heard of a book signing from her? But she was going to no. go around with the book signings and have the letters there if anybody wanted to see them. So I don't know. Still Crazy, whatever. yes, Friday. Friday opening arguments on Frazee. Whatever it is that she was referencing from his letters should have been, the letters should have been published too. Yeah, but we're, but Liz, have you heard of any book signings? <laughs> you think, I don't know, I would be scared to death if I was her <laughs> to go out in public on the book signings. I don't know. I don't know. I may go I, if I heard of but one, it might I be might... nutty. Can you imagine? It might be nutty. If I ever heard of a book signing in my area, I would probably find a way to go just to see if she'd show those letters. I'd just borrow the book. <laughs> 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 or somebody could send me a free one that they don't want anymore. Was showing us a book yeah if it didn't have i know that was the durst that was the durst book which i have to which i'm going to start looking at tonight since that case is going to come up nobody you found the durst the book, book at the dollar tree you said it was at the dollar tree it's he killed everyone it's the thing that he said in the jinx where he was in the bathroom and it was right there and it was the only one i saw and it was just meant for me it was sent from Okay. It, somebody must have said, Carolyn, the Durst child is coming up, and it was just bam, it was right there in the hardware section. Didn't see it anywhere else. I haven't seen anyone haul it. I mean, it was just there. I used to, I used to live only about a half mile from the Dollar Tree, so I was able to walk to it all the time. Mm -hmm. Now I live about two miles from it, and I'm not walking it because <laughs> yeah. it would be. It'd be easy getting over there because it's more downhill. What about a bike? I With could, a big basket. I, I could ride the bike, but then still it's getting back up the foothill. It's a pretty darn steep ride. But at least you could walk the bike if you had a big basket in the front and hold your stuff. Right. Well, the only thing I'd go for is to see if they had that book at mine. Right just to see but i'd have to have a an electric scooter would be better yes alma <laughs> so i see another one i uh, but I, I i could never i couldn't believe it it was just it was the only one there i feel like it was like not you ever have that happen you think like it's not even really in that store and something just really i don't know i get weird feelings like that like it was just the, guess, it, the way it was there it was just there in the hardware section and said he I killed everyone I could, just call and ask them what's the book called you could it says he killed everyone so it's it's uh janine Pirro wrote it you know uh, about uh, robert durst okay i'll have to obviously not at two forty one in the morning no no they're, <laughs> they're not gonna answer <laughs> they're not gonna answer yeah <laughs> but maybe tomorrow or, or thursday i can call and just see if they have it yeah nine o'clock it's just interesting to see, you know, like you said, you go to one store and then another store. They all Same. have different things. And yeah, you, you never know if you're going to find what you're looking for. Hardcover. Yeah, you go girl. Yeah, hardcover. Yeah. It's in my hall, you go girl, the last one. Um, but yeah, I don't know. 
It's a present sent to make my day. Yeah, it's just weird. And then, then wildlife to hear like that the and it was going to be in the news like two days later. Is it crazy? Right? Because I wasn't even weird. Very weird. I All haven't right. even Thank figured you out where Cato's channel is. Oh, she has a channel now. She has a channel now. I thought somebody said that oh. a week or so ago. Okay. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming. Thank you to our moderators. Thank you, Earthbound, for coming in. Thanks, uh, Cara Lucy, for calling in. And uh, everybody get ready to make that cake on Friday. Okay, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Everybody sleep tight or get up if it's time for you to get up and make it a great day. It's a good day to have a great day. We should have a slogan at the end of everyone. <laughs> Every day is a great day to have a great day. Every day is a great day to have a great day, so make it great. I don't know. We've got to get one that rolls off the tongue. <laughs> All right, everybody take care. Bye. Thanks for having me again. Sorry All right. it wasn't as much fun tonight. Oh, you're always fun. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.